the pocket for at least one of our players. But we are going to get this started. Of course, it's going to be our first match here of the Arc World Tour Finals. Lost Soul versus Kikyo Chan. Can I get some noise, people? That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Game number one. And it is indeed going to be that Crusader. Now, Dragon Knight was a character who was very, very strong mm -hmm. in the previous patch, but she didn't get nerfed. But the thing is, every other character kind of grew around her. <laughs> I mean, she definitely got, like, some buffs, right? Like, she mm -hmm, can now, mm -hmm. a little more pressure's a little better as well. She's got a jump cancelable move or two now that really does force it even more so. So I feel, And they, like, increased the damage on some of her, her connections. So now she's get a great corner carry because of that, as well as just damage on top of it. So so, honestly, I feel like this character definitely can do some damage versus Crusader, though. My man's got buffs across the board. <laughs> As you can see, him holding that cross tight. He was like, look, somebody's looking out for me. And I got a lot of buffs to prove it. But here we go. All right, game number one. Arc System World Finals here, 2022. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'm going to let you all do handle this for the most part, but I, they're not going to mute my mic. You're going to hear noises come out when the hey, Crusader that's how it's supposed to be, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to control it. Oh, man, I mean, you talking about corner carry and everything like that, Crusader, he's like, I can make my corners wherever I want to. <laughs> exactly. He's like, cor did you say corners? I could just make these, bro. All right, so we're going to start off here, see how Lost is going to try to make this approach. That wall is so fast and can come out at any time. So it is basically what you're always scared of the entire time. But here we go. Lost gets the corner combo, and he's going for the charged 5S loops here. Yep, full loops here in the corner. And now potential setup here for the safe jump. He goes for that and Ooh, makes it for the nice. empty low instead. Makes it with right in front. Kikyo Chan actually flinches, gets opened up again. And right now, also working on a perfect. Once again, goes for that jump in. Yep, goes and uses the flight cancel right there to try to get a double overhead. You see Kiku Chan is just blocking, finally finds the DP opportunity. Mm -hmm. and wow, yeah, gets she, right under the projectile. Yeah, small enough of a character, she can mm -hmm. just run right under that fireball. One of the nice advantages that Dragon Knight has against Crusader. And Lost Soul with Yo. that first round. Yo, he was talking about those charge S loops. I really do like the fact that he's taking advantage of this. Can't get him from the middle of the screen to the corner with those loops, but just keeping the corner locked down. And we were talking about corners, we are talking about walls. Crusader setting up one mid-screen before Lost Soul pushes to the corner again, and we got these loops with the mini dragon helping out. Yep, and let's see if we get the glove finish over here. Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. And gonna go set up another mix-up. Let's see if he goes for the safe jump. No, he Charges. stays on the ground and decides to use Astra for the pressure here in the corner. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Pressure definitely a little better. We're not seeing a, a bunch of these jump cancels to keep the pressure because you have the corner. Nice DP to get out of there. Yeah, brave right there, going for the DP. Because if that DP is blocked, Crusader. Mm -hmm. Oh, he can kill you. He can, dude, they've already they, look. They buffed my man across the board. Damages his middle name. Oh, what Great a tech. Dude, the defense. Oh, and the, look, the wall. Uh oh. Charges Anointed. Up. Charges up. Now you got to watch out for your guard meter. Look at that. You're only Oof. down to one chunk left Oof. here. Yo, but the bravery of Lost Soul, though. Swing, batter, batter from downtown. Done the and Lost done. Soul. That's the one, the first game that is Lost Soul. All right, so now the question is, are we going to see the Ranger? Are we going to see the Ranger now? Because we are going back to the character select. Real quick. Wait, real, I'm about no, to no, say no, not no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm like, no way. There we are. Uh, Kikyo Chan's like, all right, that was my that was my non non uh, serious character. Now it is time for the business. Look, that character is so strong now. I don't blame you checking. You gotta check now. You're like, look, I need to make sure you know how to defend against a proper crusader. Because if not, this character, like you said before, James, able to take away a nice chunk of damage. I say nice, but like all your damage <laughs> and just one mistake, as well as just trying to use that wall setup. But you notice, Lost Soul was having none of it. Really playing a strong fundamental game in the sense of, well, neutral game in the sense of just running in there, making sure the wall's not that big of a thing, and actually icing him on that first game, two rounds straight here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he's not had a chance to really do much against the Dragon Knight. One of my favorite things about Lost Soul to the showmanship. You see him hold up the one to keep yeah. going to that first game? <laughs> Let's go. And here we go, that corner pressure, but there you go, Ranger. Starting out with that DP over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, puts himself in the corner. Yeah, but he's gonna get right back out of there. Man, that new, like, back ass cancel able to actually just Jump cancel it and go for a full combo and extension. Hold on. Hold so on. Far, Once again, still going off. So far, Lost Soul's decisions have been amazing. The time that DP to be able to roll out of the corner there. He has been making such great defensive decisions. And again, Kikyo-chan, even with the Ranger, has not had a chance to really get much started here. 
And look, you know Lost Soul knows how to work around a grenade or two in his day, being an NFL player. So you can see him completely <laughs> avoiding it. A nice roll to get through here. Tries to jump in, not going to work out. Kick your chin. You can see right there, just using that jump S a lot to try to find a hit right there. Nice. Flies right over the Gunhawk. I, I love the way he's actually just keeping it out of range. Actually taking this range game away from Ranger. <laughs> range game away from Ranger. <laughs> anyway, that was unintentional, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, she's playing the range right now, and it looks like uh, Ranger's the one that's dragging their feet right now. <laughs> All right, James. All right, James. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. They gave us carte blanche to switch up, James. I'm going to kick you off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you know what? You're going to... Oh, you're dead? You're dead. Ooh, you oh are okay, dead. Okay, here we go. The big dragon coming out to play. This is the one I keep in the basement. Ah! Dude, lost soul with three rounds straight so far. Mm-hmm. This is really big. And on top of that, the fact that Kikyo Chan started with Crusader, this really does open up the fact that Lost Soul has a very confident lead and still looking really comfortable in the Ranger pick right now. Yeah, I tried to bait out that DP earlier, but then uh, Ranger, I'm sorry, Kikyo Chan actually finding the, the right timing to get that out of the corner, but here we oh, go. Uh oh. Now, two combos. And this is exactly what I was talking about keeps the corner, doesn't use the grenade. Oh, gotta watch out though, that grenade is yeah. back there. Yeah. And good defense so far from Lasso. Like I said, he has been able to find himself out of these situations. And again, running Ooh. under that gunshot, but nice check by Kikyo Chan here. It's the 2A, confirm. There's a grenade in the corner again, slide the pressure. Gunhawk, now it's dangerous time for guard break, but Kiko Chan did not have a lot of MP there, so I don't think he wanted to spend it all oh, for the guard uh, break. I got meter, bro. You're gonna keep. Oh no! Charge S. Yeah, just charge S and uses the dragon now for the pressure in the corner, and again finding the gap. Kiko Chan out of there. Great roll, but not... this time Kiko Chan ready. Combos back into the Gunhawk. That's the first round we've seen where things turned around, and it's because he was playing a lot slower on top of that. Ranger does a great job of keeping you at bay, especially with grenade by making you respect it on some of these setups. So I like to see Kikyo Chan changing it up. All right, here we go. Nice. Yep, just goes for the DP right there and actually let it side switch too. So that Lasso gets the corner and Ooh. there we go. The low to catch Kikyo standing. And here we go. Here's the corner loops over here. Again, using the charge S loops. So good. Now it doesn't even need me to get these loops anymore. So good. Oh, baits it out. Here we go. This oh. is going to be big damage off of this. Counter he might be able to kill S. if he can get this full loop going here. But unfortunately, that was a little bit too late on the charge oh. uh, on the charge S, which does cause the side switch there. Almost baited the low. DP didn't work out. Kick your chin. Stays in the corner. Back you go. Has the awakening, but can he drain him low grenade enough so for that the, the awakening after? can kill? Yep. Nope. This meaty setup right here. You got to hold the grenade pressure. And look at this. And uh oh, look at the, look at the guard bar. Look at the guard bar. Grenade oh, still oh, there. What a throw, oh, kick your chance. Oh, a jump in. He just blocked it and threw him. Completely changes the momentum. Gets the throw. One game apiece. The switch to Ranger already working out. All right. So here we go. One one. And again, this is again. Best of five, mm -hmm. so you gotta get to three wins to be able to take this. So two games still in the in the hole for both of these players. A little too early on the slide. Actually finds an opening. Here comes Lost Soul. Charge just loops once again. Ah, uh, the dragon cannon. All right, decides to just use the astral pressure again. Oh, trying to bait out that DP again. Mm -hmm. He's been trying to, but Kikyo Chan has been really good with his timings, and then uses the guard cancel there to get out of the corner this time. Ooh. Back to the corner you go. Sets a grenade on top. Yep. And, and nice. another throw. Bomb. Still yeah. there. Oh, my. Kikyo Chan. That's the danger right there. Trying to roll out of there. That throw all of a sudden becomes a tool. Oh, is that bomb going to hit her? Oh, still? my. And it yeah. is a counter, too. And here we go now. Can he get out of the corner? Ooh. Nice. Fly option to get out of there with the dragon roll to get to the other side. Puts on the block pressure. Great defense by Kikyo Chan. Oh, still gets kill. opened up by the throw, though. Trying to swing away with that 2-3-6 uh, M right there. Uh-oh, awakening for him both. DP, DP, but he gained a lot of life. Still alive. Gunhawk. Gunhawk! Yeah, but the problem is a full screen away like that. It's not going to do anything, and he's just using up all of his MP. He doesn't have any MP right now. He has to kind of chill a little bit, but shooting from a screen away right now, it's working. He can still make this comeback. Here comes the Gunhawk pressure. Long range 2B hits full screen for oh. Kikyo Chan. Oh, just a long range shot. And then the angle changes. You see him hit it under his sleeve like, wow. <laughs> and that is what Ranger can do right there. He can actually decide to play it slow on the other side of the screen and make you make mistakes. Yeah. 
Oh, he crouched, and he just got hit by that. So here's an opportunity for Lost Soul. Lost Soul is looking really good still in this set, but we've seen what can happen, man. Kikyo Chan in these setups has really been having trouble. Well, Lost Soul has really been having trouble getting out of these corner setups. Yeah, but the optimal startup, you saw it gave him half life mm -hmm. over there, gave him that half damage. Let's see how much more damage he can go over here. Sets him up for one more touch for death at this point. Oh, the throw this time, and the dragon on the pickup. That nice. bar is still gold, and we have a perfect Velocal. Nice, getting the throw into the Astra combo. So Lost Soul and Kikyo Chan right now, one mm, round away. Right out of the gate. Okay. There goes for the low, but nice defense from Kikyo Chan. And again, I swear Kikyo Chan has only had one DP block this entire set. Yeah, Lost Soul has really been trying to like bait him out, but I feel like that's an, in a chance to stop this pressure coming from Ranger, right? And Kikyo Chan from getting his game started. I was looking for the throw right there, nothing doing. Yeah, the nice, oh, he gets the hit. He's gonna get the conversion what too as conversion. well. conversion. Nice. And here we go, leads right into the main damage combo over mm -hmm. here. And look at the damage over here. The dragon oh. glove right there, and here we go. Set up again, what's the mix up? And I love that, oh, Lost Soul is trying mm -hmm. something different every single that's time. It. That's the round, once again, Lost Soul takes the lead in the set 2-1. Yeah, there you go. So this is a good sign for Lost Soul. We saw Kikyo Chan switch to the Ranger, and he was able to take that game. This is a very, very strong message sent by Lost Soul saying, I don't care which character you're picking, I'm going to take you down. You know, we were making fun of Lost Soul for not actually playing uh, DNF earlier that, that night, but now he's looking really <laughs> sharp with the Dragon Knight. Yeah, oh, there it is. He does get the block mm -hmm. on it, and he's getting the big punish over here. Again, that, again, okay, still high enough, so we still stayed in the front with that 4S. And here we go, look at this damage! And now just one more hit, goes for the empty low, the flight overhead mix up right there, and now swinging from downtown. But he's out of MP right now, so he's gotta bide his time a little bit. Defense not working out so well for Lost Soul. Here comes Kikyo Chan in the Ranger, and this is exactly what I was talking about. Oh, here's a throw, wait a minute. Switch on the momentum, actually Ooh, gets the open up the, the glove dragon. of the Dragon. DP that should up. be it. Lost Soul on set point. James already told you guys earlier, this is best of five, and Lost Soul has the lead set point coming up. Oh man, here we go, Lost Soul. Probably feeling a little nervous, but obviously taking advantage of that air mobility from Dragonite to be able to get over a lot of the, 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 the gunshots from Ranger. It's really been the tale of this game. It's like, hey, I want you to stay a full screen away from me. And he was like, no, just floats over it and keeps oh. the pressure. It's a small unfly little trick right there. Kick your chance, takes the bait. Defense yeah. on the side of Lost Soul. Now. Oh, gets the hit with the gun hawk though. Catches out of the air. And so here we go, big combo here. Kiko Chan's gonna be able to set up with the grenade. There it is. We've seen that jump option. There we go. Yeah, just to get out of that grenade oh, pressure. Bates the DP on top of it. This is great work by Lost Soul. Yeah, should be able to get the full screen. Actually does not go for more of the jugglers. Did not have the MP afterwards. He's still out of MP right now. So he's just trying to apply pressure as much as he can without it. Here we go, the throw. He just needs one more hit. The throw mix up has changed the high low to a throw attack mix up. Lost Soul takes the game over Kikyo Chan. And it was all because he really did not let Ranger play that game at all. And I'm gonna tell you right now. This dude, Lost Soul, pops off like Batman. Words and words of text, man. He will send you a letter at home after he beats you in tournament. This is what I meant to say when I was on the stage talking to you right now. But Lost Soul gonna take the first set, keeping the USA alive here in the finals. This At least. And yeah, I mean, I'm really curious because, you know, it could be Swiftmaster, we could see a switch to Crusader or not. It could be Hitman, we could see Vanguard or not. Like, it really depends on who they want to play. Well, we already saw it a little bit earlier. Right? We saw, like, the little test with Crusader, right? Just to be sure, it didn't work out. But like you said, man, these guys have multiple characters. They should by now. This is the finals. They are gonna need them. Match number two is what we're gonna go. All right, here we go. Going, it does go with the Crusader. It is the Crusader and the Vanguard. So it is the oh, yeah. Crusader and the Vanguard. We got big normals coming out. You know how we get down. And already Goichi in the corner bullying it up. Right. Oh, hold the throw. And now we're here in this corner position. Oh, he's just gonna go back to back throws. He's not caring right now. I actually like how people started like doing that. They know the MP is low. I they think... got in and get these throws. You're dead, bro. Dead, right? This is the Crusader, bro. <laughs> yeah, and he's Hammer got definitely the is gonna hurt him. The disco here. ball, you gotta hold this pressure. You're not dead, but you're oh. dancing over there. What are you gonna do at this point? Ooh, oh, wrong Goichi angle. Already, and Goichi starting with a perfect right from the get go. 
Yo, Vanguard, one of these characters. We've been seeing a lot. I've been seeing a lot more of this character. Yeah, I mean, I talked to Mr. Fit. After the patch came out, a lot of people were really scared of oh Vanguard. Oh, my God. They buffed him a lot, but, you know, people got used to him a little bit here, and, you know, talking to Mystic Smash, he says that he feels like Hitman is a better character, but he just enjoys playing mm. Vanguard. Vanguard fits him a lot more, he says. And there's plus frames on there. Oh, my gosh, there we go. Uh-oh, look at this pressure. Mystic Smash trying to make something happen. He isn't awakening right now. Gets the guard break. Yeah. Big damage here. Look at the life bar. Yep, and there's the OTG. Uh huh. And, and he's got oh, the awakening dead. already. You're dead, here bro. Go. He yep. just needs to get the OTG into the super right here, and there it is. Mm. And Mystic Smash. Great way to come back from getting perfected and uh, coming back and winning round number two. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Speaking the Queen's English here. Gotta let him. All right, all right. Mystic Smash. Mystic, Mystic Smash. Smash. And here we go now towards this corner here. We got this corner pressure going. And, and also, just to talk a little bit about Mystic Smash, definitely one of these contenders in just like, I feel like anime games as a whole, right? Uh, a Guilty Gear player as well, but we see him here for Mystic Smash. Oh my gosh. This goes half of his life, but DP connecting over here, and now just the run-up throw, and so Mystic Smash is gonna have this corner pressure here again. And the one thing nice about Vanguard is the range that he has, mm -hmm. but Goichi says, you know what, I'm just gonna trap you so you, your range has no advantage. You're just gonna be right next to me. Oh, and you saw the roll board. Gets the conversion on top of it. Yeah, the counter hit. Gonna get the crumple state off of that. And here we go, all the way. And he's got... Bro, Does he that's like a he kill? Does he feel like he can kill here? I don't think he's gonna kill. Is he? Okay, yeah, he just goes, keeps going. He's not gonna go for the uh, the awakening. Ooh. Oh, it's not over just yet, though. As a oh, shield. Oh, but Goichi, he has to spend Ooh, it yet. Oh, catches a peeking. Yeah, Goichi was so scared that he was gonna go into the, into the post power up cooldown that he tried to spend it on the hammer but mystic smash kept the pressure going and caught him while he was trying to swing oh wow another early pickup and you're definitely you're already in the corner but you're still going to the corner <laughs> you're already there and it's st you're still in timeout bro you went from the corner to the corner you went from the corner to the corner bro it's like a haunted house yeah i mean of uh, the lord no <laughs> our crusader's just going to be opening up a corner store right now because that's what he's selling right now oh. he's selling corners all day oh he's like you like these walls you like being in timeout <laughs> you like being in timeout yo go easy locking down mystic smash in his vanguard yeah but you know what that's how the last game started with a perfect oh, Goichi. True. Mystic Smash has Goichi right where he wants him. Okay, it, now he's at the corner of his own. Yeah, Vanguard, like I said before, I feel like once he gets his game started, like just getting back and knocking him out of this neutral control game is a lot harder. Also, you see a lot of times where Mystic Smash is really rolling on defense in a lot of these instances to avoid the wall. Not gonna work oh, out this no. time though. And Goichi drops the combo there, which is gonna give Mystic Smash, a huge opportunity mm -hmm. and some great damage over here. And now might just be one or two mix-ups mm -hmm. away. The double jump mix right here. Oh, yep, there we go. You got the counter hit. So it now links into the 5A. Wow. And here we go. He has the power oh, no. up as well. Sets out the disco lights. Uh -oh. You got to deal with this. Here we go, rave time. Yo, Saturday Night Fever to hold this. <laughs> hold these lights. Oh, the oh Josh Travolta would be proud. Oh, my gosh. That's what happens. You get that power up, you get the disco lights going, and then you just watch your guard break meter disappear. Right. It's really scary, especially in this game, right? Like, MP is so important. You do have that opportunity to use a counter. Oh, my gosh. Caught you dashing forward early, and Goichi was ready. You try to leave out the house, my man was waiting. He's like, have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Ooh. Hammer? Uh. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I will say for Mystic Smash is that he does have a really strong Crusader to practice against. You know, we've got Tales of Mr. Mm -hmm. E from the UK who actually placed that top yeah. eight at Frosty Faustings with a strong Crusader as well. So, you know, Mystic Smash definitely has experience against this character. We jump in again, and now we're going back to this throw game. Has plenty of MP, but really keeping Mystic Smash on his toes with the throw strike mix-up. Lots of range for Vanguard on top of yeah, that. So he plus. gets to play further back. Ooh, oh, he oh, got the counter hit right there. Uh -oh, here we this go. This is actually not good, bro. And here comes the disco lights, and he's got the charge up over here. So he's going to get the side switch. No! And it. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. Dead tall. Oh. Goichi going for the simple combos right there. Make sure he gets the kill. Yo. You have been blessed. 
before he even got about the bed. My man was sleep on his stomach, and it was just like, pew! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you hear the angels singing right, right there? Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay. There we go. Uses the conversion to keep the pressure going. Mm -hmm. And plus frames again. And oh, you saw Goichi try to do something tricky right there. It looked right like there. he did jump conversion right there. Yeah. Mystic Smash didn't take the bait, though. He was trying to maybe low crush over a low attack for Mystic Smash. Mystic Smash, like you said, didn't take the bait. And here he has the corner pressure again. Great range control right there at the tail end of that Vanguard range. Takes the opportunity, plants a wall right there. You're not moving back any further. For plus frame. Oh, he challenged! He didn't yeah. care! He knew Mystic Smash was probably going to try to steal a turn right there. And here we go now. That corner is still there. The disco lights are coming. The cross up. And here we go. It's up the lights. You're going to have to hold this for now. We've seen the rolls early coming from Mystic Smash, but nah. Nah. Before you wake up in the morning, just know you're going to be blessed, bro. Yeah, you block all of that there, and it is a tough situation. So, you know, at this point in time now, Goichi has managed to get that guard break a couple of times against Mystic Smash. Now, Mystic Smash might want to look at his uh, uh, his mana, try to hold on to at least 100 mana at all times so, so we can get, get that guard counter, cancel. Right? Yeah. yeah. But you can see here, look how, oh, yeah, we didn't get to see the whole thing of that guard bar just <laughs> evaporating. <laughs> One of the few things that hasn't changed much from that first patch, right? You're still going to be blocking a long time, and you got to have some proper defensive call-outs here. I like the, what you said, man. You probably want to save some MP so you do have the mm -hmm. opportunity to stop that pressure in some instances. And I feel like every Crusader definitely kind of plays that game. But here we go, going right back into it. 2-1 right now. Mystic Smash is down. Goichi up two games. Oh, just gets the jump in for free. No reaction for Mystic Smash. And here we go, back throw into the corner. And so Goichi obviously in a great position here, but backs off a little bit and allows Mystic Smash a way to get in there. Mystic Smash using the conversion. Even though that move is plus, he wants better pressure. Okay, good block on the wall, but the oh, counter hit! And wow. then the confirm into the AA. How many times have we seen Goichi do this already, bro? Yep, and here we go. Oh, yep, there's the cross up side switch. Just waiting for that. Just waiting. I like Mystic Smash slowing down just a bit. Still has the range. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, Mystic Smash has gotten a few clips out of the air, but was hasn't been able to convert off of it. And now Goichi with this pressure fakes the throw, fakes it again, and Mystic Smash playing very patient. This time he does get the conversion off of that little clip out of the air. Jump A just to keep, make sure you say this stays in the ground. He is really tall. Even though they did reduce his, uh, they reduced his hitbox on a lot of stuff as well. So even Vanguard, oh, oh boy, look at all this. Oh, oh got wait, him. Wait, wait, you know what? That should be he, it. He, yeah, he's got the awakening here. As long as he keeps it simple here, there okay. it is. Into super, and there we go. Okay, okay, Mystic Smash still putting up a fight. There's still life here. Destroyed. There we go. So Mystic Smash keeping pace here with Goichi. This is potentially the last game for Goichi, but he's down a round here. So Mystic Smash, if he wins this round, we can get one more game out of this. Once again, everybody's starting on the winner's side, so. I mean, look, everybody looking at this bracket over here, they're going to be expecting oh. Goichi oh. and Kikyo chan going up against each other in the next round. But can you imagine Beat if we get the damage. Lost Soul and the Mystic Smash? Beat the damage! Yo, Mystic Smash using the wall to turn against Goichi. Oh, look, this pressure still going. Goichi oh, trying to wow. do something, but it's going to get clipped. Big damage here. Shouldn't get the kill. Going to be very close, though. Just needs one more hit through. Oh, what an interrupt, Goichi, you madman. And here we go. He's going to set up. Oh, no. For the oh, guard break potential no. over here. Here's the cross up. Oh, oh you got hit. But the thing look is, Mystic Smash has all that meter, but look at that guard bar! Look at the guard that bar! Thing is a dang, and that's what I was talking about, the roll. He's actually been trying to time those rolls, and Mystic Smash is not giving up on him the entire set. The first game, we saw him get caught. This time, we see it work out. Mystic Smash still a lot. So there we go. It's two to two now. And again, like I said, it's hard not to come into this tournament and not think that Goichi is the favorite to take this. But Mystic Smash, giving it all he's got right here, has tied it up two to two with that beautiful roll. Now I like that. Having a great defensive call out right there. We already know that block 
Blocking is one of the main things you're going to do against Crusader, so you got to have some call-outs. No counter needed this time, just finds a gap, and the pressure gets to roll out of the corner. Uh-oh, speaking of the corner, stay there. What a prediction, and where did all of Mystic Smash's health go? It went to the Lord, bro. It went to the Lord, bro. And here we go again. Are we starting another game with a Goichi perfect over here? No! It's never stopping! Oh, oh, get off of me. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Mr. Can Smash. We, is this the comeback time? Is this this, this this is DNF, man. Every character nah. has the ability for the comeback, but Goichi just swinging with the 5A. Going to get the hit, and Goichi once again, match point. Man, these interests by Goichi have been spot on, especially oh. considering how much range we've seen from Vanguard to begin. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Disco ball side switch on the jump. Oh, wow. Get he actually slides far out of range, so he doesn't have to uh, get hit by the Disco. Still had to block it, though, bro. That's that's crazy. Well, just a conversion, I think. Just to try to get some MP back, perhaps. Uh-oh. If get hit here, he's going to lose so much health. Bad spot to be in. I don't think he's going to die. Yeah, OK, so he'll still be alive here. But got the Kara Spears. The Whoa. Kara Spears in the air. And that's going to take it for Goichi. He's going to take it three to two. And like I said, he might be the favorite coming in here. But Mr. Smash certainly gave him a run for his money. I'm going to tell you. It's like the lethality of Grappler, right? He just needs that one hit. Yeah. If he gets the charge tackle, if he gets the charge kick, you're dead. I mean, dude's name is Grappler. No, he came <laughs> like, out. No. He came. He was birthed. And they were like, you know what? <laughs> this guy's going to grab people. Put Grappler on the birth certificate. What is his last name? Grapple. Grapple yeah. McGrappleson. That's his name. <laughs> Mr. Grapple was his father. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, I, I just want to like count how often Kubo is going to do wake up jump forward in this match because yeah. that is definitely one of his favorite things to do. Yeah, man, I, I can't wait. And then, yeah, on the other end, Ghostblade, right? Got some good buffs for sure. Recovers from the teleport faster. He's got the 2S teleport cancel for plus frames. But defensively, he's as helpless as ever, right? Nah, that's true. You no invincible reversal, nothing. He can get mauled by Grappler. Yeah, which if your defense is bad against Grappler, I mean, it's brutal. So you. Like, yeah, it is so bad. Because <laughs> most characters, they're like, okay, as soon as I see him charging up the drop, I'll just hit down plus M, I'll just DP it on reaction or whatever, right? Like, if you have something like that, but not for everybody. What's up, Steve? You want to join me for this Ghost Blade, or are you going in? Uh, I'm. You know what? Uh, it's up to you. Let's, I got it. Go, uh, let's go. You, you, you got the Ghost Blade. You got the Ghost Blade. Throw. We're just gonna make noises at these combos right. and these mix ups in the empty low already coming out for the Ghost Blade, bro. You alluded to it. This character is nasty with the mix ups. Mm -hmm. The 2S. Oh, it is hard to hit that 2S. It really is. And now people have started to like do multiple and then like 2B into like back S just to get the knockdown. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, this ain't gonna stop, brother. Oh, excuse me, it does. He just wants to set up in the corner. Come mm, back. Get scooped. Oh, oh the air. Beat him in the air. Nice little summon there. Bruh. These fake outs have become so much stronger in the most recent patch because if he opens you up, you're going straight to the corner, and there you have it just like that. The damage output that Ghost Blade gets is so good now, even mid screen. And you really got to be used to these instead of just visually from Ghost Blade because it's so easy for the character to get lost. Mm, nice. Success gets to push. Back to the corner you go. Yeah, we already in here again. Kubo's gonna have to survive this mix. Yu Young building back up that MP as well. Oh, drops it at the very end. Ways to see if there's any type of reversal attempt. Oh. But no, just keep on keeping on. Gets the throw, keeps the corner. What's the mix? And just and wake up A. Have to hold this pressure once again. The conversion right there. Kubo trying to stay safe. He just needs one, especially with the awakening, right? Oh my goodness, just again the rising punish to get out of the command oh. grab. Oh, yo, the charge tackle. Conversion to get out of there. I like this. Roll to keep the corner off off his back. But Kubo's getting overwhelmed right now. We finally see a cross light anti. Let's see if he gets a chance to play. Oh, try to conversion. jump up and meet him. Not gonna work out. Oh, the roll as soon as he sees the tackle. So smart. You see how not getting caught slipping. Oh, nice. He's at the 6S conversion right after it. Checking with the 2A. Both an awakening now. Uh oh. Next uh -oh. Hit wins. He doesn't want a challenge. Nothing you but baits, bro. My man, wait a minute. Kubo is literally doing charge. He's like, jab, A, charge tackle. Yeah. Did you hit a button? A, charge tackle. Did you hit a button? And on top of that, they actually increased the float off of his crouch, off his 2A, if I'm not mistaken, for the grappler. So he actually gets some crazy float combos. We haven't seen many conversions, but that's because Ghost Blade is going off. Already been some wild exchanges here in this round, too. Yu Xiong, though, does come out on top. Gonna have control of the match here. Tries to get the low. Oh, Kubo, yeah. you ain't going nowhere, fam. Have to be careful. 
every time with the summons. It actually keeps the mix-up going a little more, unless you get that hit. Okay, yeah, just gonna take the corner for himself right there to even use the charge drop kick. Here we go, the tackle games. Yo, oh, that's why you can't hit him, but lucky that wasn't the corner or he would've got a full combo. He would've died. You would've died, because yeah. he was in Awakening. 100% was a life flashing before his eyes in that instance. Good blocks here. Oh, try. no, not gonna work out. Yuan Cha is actually doing such a great job of just jumping out of a lot of the throws. Yeah. Uh, we seen it early on because the first one actually worked out for Kubo, so that makes sense. I love the adjustments. Yeah, he's doing a great job recognizing when he's like at a range where he can jump out of the plus frame move as well that grapplers really like to abuse. Just doing a great job staying outside that range. Yeah, I mean, you gotta use that as Ghostblade in this matchup, right? That is your biggest strength. Mm -hmm. Dash up throw this time. Oh. Man, that jump summon, I'm telling you. Yeah, it is a problem, a huge problem. Honestly, ooh, whiff, but not quite punished. Oh. Kubo rolling back in, trying to get the CQC going. All right, that miss. Yeah, Gosh. respecting the plus frames here. You don't got much guard bar left, though. That's something Yu Young's got to worry about. There's the oh, guard frame. Let's that's go, what Kubo. Talking about. The charge jump skills, bro. Oh, my God. Bruh. Look at the damage. Oh, relax. Oh, let me get oh, that. Oh, back yes. to the corner. Set up again, the plus frames. How are we going to escape? Just raw teleport? No. Oh, actually does Ch challenge. What a check out right here. Keeps the corner as well. Hard spike. Summon. Yeah, here we go. Now, this situation right here, you have plenty of MP build in two. Jump summon. Yep. Great pressure oh. still. Like I said, this has been one of the cruxes. We've seen him do this before, and it is working out perfectly. This next, this next combo might be a done deal if you get hit again. Kubo in trouble. You see, oh, I was gonna say he's an ankle biter, man. Tries to go with the dome that time. He blocked it, but you're so worried about the high low. The throw sneaks in back to back with it. You see, on chop. Doing a great job. And using the dash actually to set up his offense. Not going for buttons in a lot of situations. Just using it to get in close enough to go for throw and keep the mix going. Interrupt with the 2A this time. Yeah, Kubo's gonna get a chance here. Nice conversion to keep himself safe from the kick. So fast. And again, the rising button. Full conversion from Yoo Young Cha off of it as well. Jump B right there. Actually gets to confirm on top of it. Multiple flow, hard spike here. Oh, wow. Jump as completely whips. Yeah, ready for the rollout as well. Just the long range, the quick range of Ooh. Ghost Blake. Gonna put Kubo right back in this corner. I mean, he is getting suffocated right yeah, now. this is not looking good at all. And I'm still getting this knockdown on top of it. Backs up just a bit. Summon to keep the pressure going. Defense looking solid, but he used all his MP for this one. Let's hear. Oh, it's so tough for Kubo to get out. He's trying to pick his spot carefully. The roll at least doesn't get punished. Now we get the tackle games. Awakening is there, and he gets the charge kick. Oh, you're melting. Yeah, he tried to jump up there and meet him. We've seen it work out a couple times before, but it's not going to work this time. He is an Awakening, and he's got the corner. You're dead. Goodbye, Ghost Blade. Good games. I'm going to use gravity, bro. Ugh. Join the fella in your sword, fam. You are in the afterlife now. Bro, you see how Grappler looks at him? He's like, yuck. Yeah. <laughs> it just slams you to the ground. This is how gravity works. Lessons are learned up against Grappler, baby. What a way to rally back. Kubo now putting a point on the board here. Doesn't want to go down 2-0 to UC on Cha. Bringing it back three games straight is a mountain of a task. And look, now you can see him. He's starting off a little different now. Jump summon, keeps the pressure mid-screen. Lots of great life on the side of Kubo. Indeed, trying to go with the lows again. Great blocks from Kubo on the high lows a lot of the time. Mm, Guard the counter is punish. not going to work, and that's going to cost you a lot. That is gonna hurt. Look at the red life on Kubo's bar. Grappler, you're in trouble, but drops the last part of the combo. He's gonna get one more chance here, Awakening as well. Oh, oh. and he gets the charge kick. This is gonna be huge damage. Oh, this I is mean, gonna be a lot of damage, actually. You're one guess away from losing the game. Oh, oh and he gets the command that might be grab. Done, oh, he most definitely you, beyond my oh, red stomps. Oh, relax. Oh my gosh, gravity. <laughs> Tied this up. We talked about how dangerous this grappler character is. Maybe you let him get a chance to play. He touches you once. The next one is death. We got a tight set. We've seen how the offense works in Ghost Blade's favor, and now we've seen how quick it literally turns around in favor of grappler. Yeah, bro. Like you really can't let him play. We talked about Ghost Blade. He doesn't have great defensive choices. Not a lot of options. No defensible reversals. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna get mauled. He just needs a pixel. And that's why you see this offense working out so well. Starts it off this time, goes for that jump, summon, just to make sure, yeah, just to make sure you're not gonna hit any buttons, any lows. 
You know, we talked a lot about Ghostblade's lack of defensive options, right? Just a parry coming out from Grappler, so he's getting involved a lot by this Ghostblade pressure as well. Almost had a conversion right there at the tail end. Able to convert that hit. Guard break, not able to make anything happen, though. Indeed, he's got to close it out here. At least oh. take that gray life away. He does so successfully. Gonna be able to get the knockdown here out of MP. No, but he dropped the last part. Okay, good. Blocking the cross up this time. Doesn't get caught slipping. Oh, the plus frames, he was out of range, but he didn't want to challenge. Does roll out of the corner for now. Oh, I love the reactions. Oh, it was a really smart teleport to get out of the tackle, as you mentioned, Steve, but now a little bit too happy with the Kubo waiting on the other end. Uh-oh, this is not good. We've seen what Awakening Grappler can make oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. happen. Converted to stay safe right there. Oh, his life no. flashed before his oh, eyes. Oh, no. Get opened well, up. Well, it's been good, guys. <laughs> but gravity always wins in the end. I'm telling you right now. Look at me. Ugh. <laughs> Mans is going down, brings him up just to bring him back down, put him through the ground. Oh. Kubo now taking a lead in the set, not with full games, but this one around on the board here in game three. And look at how this offense has completely changed. And at first we saw Ghostblade just swamping Grappler with nothing but offense, and now we see what happens if Grappler gets in one time. Uh-oh, uh -oh. big jump charge S, this is not good. Definitely not. This is a great starter for the Grapplers, one of their uh. ideal starters. Let me get that great life. What you gonna do now? Mm. Oh, standing up into my headlock. I definitely used to do that when I was. That was the head. That's the classic headlock <laughs> takedown, man. Right so you have siblings. You do. You definitely be doing right. that. <laughs> uh oh. All right, this is a good chance right now. Spending a lot of MP on this combo and it's regaining now. So you got another mix coming. Yeah, that's one of the great things about Ghostblade, right? The combos last so long. Wow, bets on the rollout, but still the long range of the lights. Oh, my. Switch back to the corner. Going to be able to get the knockdown this time and the summon once again. This is not looking good. Ghostblade getting pretty close to awakening, but Kubo is in danger. Yeah, and he's getting the full combo this time. Just trying to get the ankles again. So much pursuing. Mm. Oh, the fake out with the dash. Look Defense for Kubo once again. Trying to bait out a throw, possibly. There's the counter, calls it out. Definitely, he's been trying to be able to throw. He's not going to have it. He actually interrupts, oh, breaks it with a low. Very smart. Tired of getting bullied by that tackle. You see Yang Chong ready for it at every turn. Uh, look back. <laughs> bro, the super is ridiculously cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Most definitely, bro. Ghostblade as a character in general, bro. That's why I was like, nah, you're joining me with this one. You pick yeah. the character. I pick the character. Let's talk about it. And look at that stand aid. That's exactly what he was talking about. Yeah, such a good space control tool. Doesn't let Kubo just start his games for free. Now already in the corner here. He's been really having to hold so much offense. Mm -hmm. Oh, charge tackle conversion just to make sure. Yeah, trying to get the plus frames goal right there. But use Siong, his mobility, his evasiveness has been so on point. He's still going to get this knockdown in the corner as well as the combo extension. Another hard knockdown. Uh, uh. Let's set up shop here with the mix going B. Trying to bait out maybe a parry attempt either way. We've seen how this pressure works out. He can switch it up and start going for the throws, and that's exactly what he does. Mm -hmm, the tick throws again. Is he going to do it? Yes, right between the ghost hits. Still alive on a magic pixel. It's the crouch line. Are we going to get another answer? No, you see how again. He's seeing the tackles now, hitting the two A's. Stop it. So, also, like I said before, Grappler definitely has a little more flow time on those two A's of his own. I would love to see some conversions come from Kubo. Even though I feel like they're very sparingly getting these hits, you can definitely convert. Bruh, Speaking the, of. The Ghost came through with a Ken Griffey swing, bro. While he was trying to come down, you're out the park. Okay, dash up throw in between the Ghost pressure. You can see even staggering up the pressure now, trying to catch Kubo. Oh, that's a pickup. Oh, speaking of which, does indeed. Big damage. Not gonna be dead, but this is danger. Danger, danger for real right now. My man's on life support here. Oh, oh the and... fake out throw, the throw him off the trail, and once again, I feel like these rounds go so fast if Ghostblade gets started. Yeah, this Ghostblade offense is completely nasty, bro. Ooh, corner recovered in time still, not get taken advantage of, right? Oh, but we're gonna uh -oh. start the party. Uh huh. Let me out. Yeah, there we go. Back to the corner. Takes the Oki, jump in. Plus, oh, just finds the rollout again. Really been making such good defensive choices, and as I think that, uh -oh, that counter hit uh -oh. comes through. Full we'll charge. Once again, takes the Oki counter to stop the pressure. I like this. Not a lot of MP on the side, but finds the hit. Wait a minute. Yep, now we're in the corner again where Yu Young has been making his living, bro. You work on my corner. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, throw it already. Lots of MP stacking up, too. What's the mix? Goes for that quick summon. Make sure you guard your toes. There's another throw. 
Yeah, man, I mean, the fuzzy blocks from Kubo are nasty. Look at this, every time the high-low has been getting stuffed, but that still hasn't been enough to give him the lead in the set. Great usage of the counter, conversion as well to get some momentum Ooh. started, gets clipped by the charge. Uh-oh. Oh, you're dead. Oh, most definitely here. You, you are jaw. dead. He was oh, on set point. Still Kubo. is, but Kubo will not go quietly into the night. I feel like playing grappler, like it, he definitely has taken on like the sins of every grappler that's ever existed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's got, he's got even his run. I feel like takes a little time to start up. He's like, oh, I'm coming. You know? Mm-hmm. Carrying Ooh. the weight of those that has sinned on his back. See so right. Yusyong right now, trying to make him pay for all of it. Oh, this time not even going for the under. Looked like he tried to sneak in the throw, but maybe mistimed it a little bit. The ghost actually put him in block stun. Once again, you see using that gray light for the conversion, just to try to keep the pressure. Oh, he catches him swinging that time. We talk about how potent those lights are. Can't work against you, but some damage that's on the table. Oh, oh goes that. through the counter. Oh, you're dead. What's a blade to some armor? Kubo oh, from the brink of the feet, tying up the set here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I talked about the sins of every grappler ever, but I feel like the momentum of the grappler is with him strong, bro. If he actually gets going, it's really hard, I feel like, to get him off. He's starting getting the power up. The souls are speaking through him. Especially with this knockdown, right? Like, he really does. Ghostblade's gonna have a time making sure he actually gets his game back started. That's if he's not on the oh. offensive side of things. And what's we gonna set up here? Oh, just goes with a throw after the jump in, taking the plus frames. One second, mm -hmm. now you see Young really trying to switch it up a bit. Jump summon. Checking the ankles. This time going for a slower falling B right there. Yeah, right. He's just been so consistent. Kubo goes to the tackle. He's Yusyong timing is that. He's timing it intentionally to go through this goal summit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never getting to escape the corner for free right there. The long range. All right, going to be okay here. This next this next one is not going to be a good one. You're guessing for your life, bro. Guess for the game, bro. Throw or strike. Come oh, out. Oh, out. Oh, yeah. Going to be punished it. on the other end right there. Yusyong Chop back on set point. Lots of back and forth this set, too. I was about to say, switching from the summons almost got like a charge S combo right there, Kubo mid screen. Yeah, very scary. Ooh, the conversion nice. afterwards gives him plenty of time to convert that. Get a 6 MS, getting the go shoot corner. Okay. Has MP, doesn't go for the mix this time, but you know what's coming. There it is. Yeah, you saw the hesitation right there. Try to get him to press something, but instead recognizes he's going to down back and he blocks. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, this could have been a lot worse. Side switch. Huh. Mad damage right now. Kubo taking the corner for himself again. The plus frames are respected from Yusyong. Still not cracking, but the guard bar is getting dangerously low. That's why we got a guard cancel now. Corner. Dash to get out of there. Conversion to take the pressure back. There's another throw. He's an awakening now, though. You know he's going to try to pop up with these tackles. And we've seen how he's been calling him out, especially with the goals there. But now no more MP. Oh, rolls out of there, gets the hit. Bitch. You see, oh, he can't finish it off just yet, though. Kubo, that's all he needs, bruh. Oh, uh -oh. teleport out again, trying to avoid that. So smart. He is not awakening, so he can cancel those magic skill attacks. And that should be it. Very good. Sun Cha actually takes it with the ghost blade. What? We have eight different yeah. characters here cool. in the first round here. So really, really awesome to see. You love to see it, especially when it comes to the World Tour Finals of any game. But that just lets you know how much this game has grown, especially since that patch, man. I really do like how many, the variety of characters we're seeing here. Striker, another one of those characters. I feel like Hitman, we've seen plenty, but this is going to be good re regardless. Yeah, as you mentioned, an ideal environment for like an eight-person qualified tournament like that, right, is the best players on eight unique characters. And luckily, that is something we have received here for the DNF Duel matchup. Again, uh, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> Hitman is such a scary character. I mean, he uh, when it first started, it was Hitman and Swiftmaster. And then Swiftmaster got nerfed, but Hitman was like, you know what, I'm just going to still being Hitman. <laughs> but, but it was like Hitman and Swiftmaster were doing the White Knight thing for Striker. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, always true. been a character that's been a huge problem. <laughs> Seen great success since the beginning of the game's life. But yeah, of course, she's got to get on offense first. And you might not be able to do that again. K-Top with a reset. Good blocks. Not going to get caught sleeping. Yeah, that's that new reset uh, technique that they have for the Hitman. But here we go. Look at this. You're just blocking all day. And so, yeah, 
remember we talked about trying to conserve your mana for having the guard break. That's something that K-Top's got to look out for, but here we go. Conversion for Nanpon, right. and he's got the Awakening, and these combos will go for quite some time. Yeah, as you mentioned, he got the Awakening skill as well. He's just going to finish it off with that and take the first game. His ability to recognize and convert in a scramble like that, like, when you guys are both just struggling for control of the neutral, for him to pull out the instant overhead in a complete raw neutral like that, that is wow. All right, so let's see if K-Top now can get something going oh, over here. Boy. But again, beautiful whiff punish just to start off for Nampon here. And again, Striker's going to hit you and drain like 50% of your life right from the get-go. Yeah, Look at this damage. And you mentioned it's all about the guard cancel meta after that, right? Like, when are you going to do it? Is oh. Nampon going to have some type of something to be ready for? I even see how homie got opened up, but either way, you're going to oh. have to guess for game. And left him. Oh, actually, did he? Yeah, he left him right outside of Awakening. So there's a smart uh, a, a smart idea for Nampon right there. Ended his combo earlier. Doesn't have to worry about the awakening and that's a primary game plan up against hitman specifically right the shadow strike is such a dangerous tool he doesn't have access to it right now or else he would have been melting striker's <laughs> life bar yeah but i mean I, oh what a roll out of that situation because as much as his awakening is scary it's really that high low mix up that uh oh yeah hitman has that i think is the thing that makes him the scariest character yeah most definitely the ability to overhead people and convert from the neutral like that with the jump buttons at least something we got to keep an eye on. But right now, Nampon is oh trying to boy, work on that guard bar. He does have the meter to guard cancel. And you can see he's kind of giving him some space, trying to bait that out, perhaps. Yeah, you can see he's so smart right now from Nampon. He's not doing anything, not chip damage, exactly. nothing. Exactly. He, he hasn't used any moves that chip him, right? He's not going to put him Ooh. in awakening. But here we go. He catches him with the instant overhead jump B. But he's still not dead because he kept him out of yeah. awakening. It's so smart from Nampon. So here we go. Here's that setup. Goes for the low, but again, the rolls right now from Nampon. That's something that K-Top's oh, going to have to scout out. And you know what? He's just about to build the meter. Oh, he converted instead of going into the shower strike. Guard cancel actually from Nampon. He's playing the clock, bro. Yeah. Two, one. Oh, he gets the throw off. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Oh, he lives. Nanpon is Ooh. there and survives. And you have never seen such a beautiful, uh, you know, display of don't put him in awakening yeah. that we've seen. Oh, man, that was textbook, bro. We talk about it all the time against Hitman. That is priority number one. Fighting against Hitman doesn't start until he gets into <laughs> awakening. So, hey, if you don't put him there, that's a good key to success. I really love that he waited until he had the pressure. He had the guard break threat until he actually put him in awakening all right so nampon with game number one he's gonna start off here once again with about 50 percent damage there because that was a nice starter right there look at this damage using the mp skill to drain that gray life getting the pressure going again yeah and nampon is cooking you can tell he's very much in his comfort zone mm. and the way he's been playing around stinger has been immaculate bro the dive kicks the whip punishes on the ground with the lunging punch and right now k-top is not getting to play yeah, here we go. Starting to work on this perfect here. Probably going to be able to kill off of this. No, actually, has to go for the reset. And what Bro. DP? What DP? Uh, my DP greater than your DP. Holy smokes, Nam already sending a message. Some mental damage right there. I like that from K-Top. Very good lights from Ooh. Hitman as well. And you ain't going nowhere on the rolls. Yeah, didn't didn't extend the combo. Trying to use that for pressure right there, but was able to punish the roll. Wow, wow Nampon just swinging on Wake Up. Yeah, he was like, bro, you're not actually going to make me block this jump normal. You're going with some <laughs> shenanigan, and he called it out. All right, so what's this mix up over here? Yep, the dive kick, and he got one overhead in there, he but he was going for the tick throw no matter what. And then K-Top, he was trying to hold up, trying to get out of this corner. Yeah, to start something like that, oh. Nampon with a good meaty, good blocks here, and a roll for the follow-up. You can see he is not uh, adverse to this hitman pressure. Yeah, one of the tricky things about, you know, having a, a tournament like this, you know who your first round opponent is. You can tell Nampon has been doing all the research to escape this hitman pressure. I really think that's been a testament to all our players. Everybody looks so prepared for their matchups. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the punch from long distance. That's not going to have hitman survive in another day. Nampon up 2-0. <laughs> yeah, Nampon. Coming in here, I always I, I felt like he was just one of the scariest players coming. He oh, took Arc Revo to Japan against so many of those, uh, so many strong opponents, including guys like Kikyo Chan as well. And Striker, I mean, everyone who has fought Striker in this game, just like their knuckles turn white as oh. soon as they see her, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, we uh, talked about his uh, unique ability to strongly read his opponent, right? And we kind of mm -hmm. joked about how that's not such a necessary thing on Striker. But if you do have that ability and you're able to get on <laughs> offense even more than the average person, I mean, she's deadlier than ever. So I really like him kind of combining that and just really being like, if I can get on offense, you ain't going to get to play again. <laughs> 
All right, so back to the wall. I think this is our first 2-0 start here in this first round set. So let's see if K-Top here can get uh, a game on the board again. That's how you make the comeback. You get one game at a time, one game at a time. Actually get a whiff cancel now too. My goodness, bro. We saw that on display a little bit right there by K-Top. The one that finds the first significant hit. Let's see if we can get some games going here. That's going to be a decent crank on the guard meter. But Nanpon immediately back dash and getting that space back. Yep. There you go. You see him still trying to keep that offense going, backing up. Going to let Nanpon build a little bit of that guard gauge back. Nanpon not pushing too hard at this point. Oh, and finds the moment to get in. The interruption, bro. He's truly picking his spots like an actual martial artist, bro. And right now, oh, what's we got the, the pressure? Corner. Yeah, what's he gonna set up over here? Is he gonna go for another dive kick? No, actually, I thought he was gonna go for an empty throw there, but he just went for an empty button. Look at this again, oh. playing around the stinger. That's multiple times now. He's whip punished it with dive kick. Like K Top just doesn't get any opportunity. That's one of the the BNBs, the security blankets for Hitman's, right? They do the success, the stinger into the conversion. That's a way to get in, get your game started. He hasn't made Nampon block one. Yeah. Nampon, the neutral dive kick that he uses there to punish people for trying to swing is so strong. Like you said, the reads are ridiculous, but look at this damage here starting from K-Top now. Again, Ooh. he called that out before as well, right? You're not making me block this jump normal. I'm gonna wake up with buttons. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just aware that uh, K-Top is trying to go for like the, oh, the whiff jump the A into, Oh, you're he's dead. dead. You're dead, bro. you're dead, you're the dead. The brain life this is gonna what get deleted. Strike. The hell's gonna get deleted. Oh my lord. Look at that red bar. Look at that. That's, that's like 95% of your life right Indeed. there. Indeed. Oh, you blocked. That was the wrong decision, baby. <laughs> you need that guard cancel meter up against Striker as evidence there. What? And uh, I, I think this character is not maybe as popular in Asia. I saw somebody mention that Vanguard not as picked over there, so we'll have to see. I mean, I think here everybody knows that he is quite belligerent. The armor is yeah. really annoying to deal with, and uh, in the mid range, he just like kind of swings at you. Yeah. So, pretty spooky. And James, you alluded to it earlier, right? Not only did he obviously play against Koichi's Crusader, but Tales of Mr. E, from the, the words of his mouth, we've ran bear sets together. Shout out to all Yo, my red coats out there. Bear, bear sets. Bear sets. <laughs> Swear down. Bear. That, that means a lot. Yeah. Which is not what you would think. For all of our North Americans. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So. I, I'm not familiar with the lingo out there. I mean, we got to be talking about lifts and, and chips and, and yeah, yeah. And, all kinds know. of stuff. <laughs> the old school stuff, huh? I feel you. The dogs yeah. bollocks and whatnot. Yeah, the bears here just do drugs. That's a movie. <laughs> but over there, bear just means like a lot. I don't know. It's like so different. You know, trying to. Oh, it's, it, it's an international broadcast though. It you takes know, you on a whole open. new meaning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see why yeah. we separated ourselves from them. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's a difference in lingo. <laughs> uh, but it is going to be the Ranger and Vanguard coming in here. Yeah, which is, I'm, I'm really excited to see this. I, you know, Vanguard is a really interesting character because he takes up so much space on the screen, but he is not the fastest character, right? I mean, there's definitely going to be times where dash blocking and trying to move real slow is a thing that he's got to do against, yeah, this kind of stuff right here. And Ranger, he's pretty good at uh, attacking space in front of him, too. He's got the slide, which you can obviously see there, and just any point, bring out the Gunkata, and just like, what's up? I'm going to go for some kind of pressure, and he gets the falling low. Yeah, it looks like Mystic maybe trying to flinch out here, just uh, still stuck in the block stun. I think he wanted to do something, he just got him exposed. And again, the lays getting clipped, the explosion from the grenade going to be the follow-up. Yeah, I mean, that's the hallmark of this character's pressure. You know, he knocks you down, grenade comes out. If he throws you, he comes off the grenade. This might, oh, it's close to hitting the DP, but it just moved him right out of the way. And then a little 2S jump cancel pressure from Mystic Smash. And the pulse right there, he's trying to take a big swing after, realizing that Kikyo Chan was going to respect it, but oh, not respecting much there. Yeah, a little low check from that far away. And Mystic Smash is just trying to walk back, you know, hold some space. All of a sudden, just finds himself clipped, all this damage. Oh, in Awakening now, though, which is a little scary if he had a chance to get going, but combo off the grenade will do it. Wow, Kikyo Chan playing so well. Yeah, we talked about the armor in Mystic Smash's previous match as well, right? The Gunhawk is a good answer to that, right? Goes to that distance, has a lot of hits to it. Yeah. Oh, and at the start, Vanguard, I mean, he's been touted as one of the best round star characters in the game, right? But that Ranger 2A, it might be the best. Yeah, and I'm so used to seeing it. You know, it's funny you call it Gunhawk. I'm hearing Gun Kata because he yipes all the time. It just hits, <laughs> says it all the time. Just cracking up the EP. There's the grenade. Gets the combo, even though the first knee whiff. Just got a second knee to pick up there on that. And uh, this is a bad start to Mystic Smash here. Knockdown. Uh, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do here? Pressure just has the grenade out. And this is just your guard gauge is getting eaten up. And even if the guard gauge wasn't low, that's a combo off the grenade anyway. A little, a little miss. Yeah, he's going to get a chance here, Mystic Smash. 
Sibin gets some hits in, using the conversion to just try to wear him down a bit. That guard bar got cranked heavy. Yeah, that's oh the grenade from downtown. And that's the thing about Vanguard and Awakening, right? His big thing is taking down your guard bar. That's his yeah. specialty once he's in Awakening. But, I mean, just didn't get a chance to really do much on offense. Just really controlled strong play there from Kiko-chan. Yeah, he got that first sequence, but it pushed him so far away, right, that he didn't really have a confident way to follow it up. And right there, sneaking behind him. Yeah, gonna be the combo on the nade, and then all the way on this corner carry, which is just something that's really good about this character. Yeah, and that throw, you know, you tech the throw, okay, everything's okay. You don't tech the throw, it's gonna be a combo off the grenade, so. Mm -hmm. And the way he sets up his pressure in the corner, too, he's often outside of range with the DP. That's oh. how the armor was there. He converted to stay safe from the uh, grenade. Yeah, I like that idea. Just didn't quite have enough time to get the combo after the grenade, but good awareness there from Mystic Smash. Definitely showing the knowledge at Fighting Ranger. Right now, we're gonna crank it a bit. Didn't have any meter, so converts actually gives him a little bit of MP. Yeah, and I mean, that's the big thing, right? Anytime you block a move where your opponent's spending mana, it's giving you gauge to go for conversion, which is huge, although that's gonna get taken away here. Indeed, Kikyo Chan, he's been so good at the crouch light. Win the challenge, where to challenge. That time, Mystic was sniffing it out. Yeah, exactly. We see the stagger pressure with punish on that, and we've seen Mystic Smash try to bait stuff out. Maybe looking for the slide, to be honest, with like just these neutral jump S's, but doesn't work out there. Pressure. And there's the uh, guard cancel. Gotta be very careful. Yeah, oh, lands on the tail end of it. And there's plenty of mana to get the kill here. Super smart from Kikyo Chan. Immediately putting out the gun, call it the gun hog, whatever you want to call it right there. And I like the guard cancel, the weight on the grenade from Mystic, right? He was having, gonna have a small window to escape and like the timing of everything. I like the jump idea, but it was just a little bit too late. Yeah, and I, I, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you're like, I haven't guard canceled yet, yeah. right? Like, let me just try, you know, the options, see, and then. Kiko Chan was ready, and that's the thing. A lot of the offense in this game can be structured in that way from certain characters. I mean, you'll see it once you go back to the winner side with Goichi on Crusader again. Same kind of thing, right? Really good at just cranking the guard bar, doing that kind of stuff, and then just absolutely smoking you. Yeah, Mystic, oh, guard cancel immediately off the plus frame tackle. We haven't seen really Mystic threaten with the rolls on the slide block strings either. Oh my goodness, opened up. Yeah, and you saw a common thing there. If you try to roll through the uh, Gunhawk like that, you can just go for the conversion and just punish it if you commit. So you have to be really scared about just autopilot rolling or, or doing stuff through it. Wow, what a rollout. And then the conversion, Mystic Smash ready for a little punish on the other side, but the rising jump button just calls out the throw. Indeed, and the crumple, oh, it sets him up perfectly for this corner carry. And you know what that sets up, grenade mix. Jump block on the other side, grenade there, runs all the way out, and then, yeah, oh, but just a miss, that's huge, that's a lot of mana, oh, and the confirm after. Ridiculous stuff from Kikyo Chan here, you can see, he's just staying outside of angles of DPs, of guard cancels, but drops the combo, Mystic's gonna have a chance here. Yeah, I mean, this is huge, too, has lots of mana, and you can run in for whatever kind of setup at the end of this you want to go for, and you can just dump it all like this. Reset, staggered low, great defense, and Kikyo Chan now, things have kind of reset. Indeed. Oh, we got quick guard cancel. Wants to get that space back. Mystic gonna have to weather the storm. He puts the grenade just to push him into it. Very smart. Yeah, look at that guard gauge up there for Mystic Smash 2. And just that last little falling jump normal catches you right when you think it's your turn. 2-0. Very fast there for Kiko-chan. Yeah, and it's like Mystic, he has the, the, the DP to kind of contest that angle, right? But if he DPs and he just blocks it, I mean, he just falls to the ground, I mean, and avoids it entirely, that is a huge punish. You can't really risk that a lot of the time when you're Mystic. Yeah, and you spend the bar to do it, and then you're kind of just like, it hit, and that's it, right? Like, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really, it's not like you put yourself in a super advantageous position most of the time anyway. So we see the swap back to Hitman, and uh, same kind of thing, right? I mean, a character, Hitman has great options in neutral, right? He has really, really, really good stuff to control space on the screen. The problem, of course, though, is if you're outside of that range and Ranger's just doing some shooting and, or initiating with his slide, Gunhawk, stuff like that, I mean, it's going to be a little bit more annoying to deal with. Yeah, we talk about the prevalence, or I should say the lack thereof, when it comes to Rangers anti-airs, right? And Hitman definitely will play some game in the sky. Yeah, he has really good jump button. Jump A, jump B, both good. Jump S, jump M, like he's got all kinds of stuff to do up there in the air. And his air to airs are really, really excellent too. Like rising jump A, air to air, extremely good. Already able to force Mystic Smash into an uncomfortable position. And uh, we see a guard castle come out. Now he has no mana and Kikyo Chan, wow. Perfect 5A, just like, Right in the perfect spacing there, although a little drop, and then gets the falling jump button. It's gonna be a punish. We're gonna get the double 4S Ender. You never want Hitman falling on you, bro. Yeah, I mean, his jump button's hit 17 times or none, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, that's just 
as a Hitman player, my favorite part about the character, yeah, because you can do oh. stuff like this where it just barely hits you once, and then he's already doing another instant overhead, and you're just like, oh, my bad. Mm-hmm, then you don't get to play anymore, just gets until you awake, and he actually does get a roll out in the chance here. Yeah. Kikyo, and there's the two A's, they've been so accurate. Exactly, because you want to try to walk back. And against most characters, you're not really scared of a low check from that far, but that's another one. And Kiko-chan, just like that, going to get the confirm here, spend all the bar, has the awakening for the shot at the end, and now on set point. Well, yeah, I mean, you highlighted it perfectly, right? There's a, an instance or a space where most of the time we feel comfortable, given whatever game it is, to walk back a little bit. Light buttons that are lows, they won't hit me from here usually. Ranger is a different story. That is one of the archetypes that proves us so effective. Yeah, and I mean, usually people just step back and then like, if they don't see anything, they're like, okay, let me just block low now, right? Yeah. But when the light is immediate like that, you're just not ready. Guard cancel, and yeah, I mean, one thing about Hitman is, you know, always, even before they changed guard cancel, had a great guard cancel to use. True. So, you know, you just guard cancel and go for whatever. First CP we've seen from Mystic Smash, and gets the jump in, no confirm though, a little slow, or maybe just a little high on the jump in, had it to go for uh, like jump S or something instead. Indeed, and Higo Chase, he's being very safe with that one, sent out the Gunhawk into immediate conversion. Immediate cancel as well, doesn't want to get taken advantage of. Oh, that's a lot of mana to spend. Had to use the conversion to keep himself safe. And look at the guard bar from the Six Smash, too. This is a really bad spot because, you know, always oh, got to fly above it, but isn't going to oh, land oh, on it God. and the punish. What a way for Kikyo Chan to pick that up, bro. Not leaving any damage on the table. Condition you to block. Get the throw with the grenade follow up. Mystic Smash now on life support. Will he even live through this? Boom. Oh. Last shot for the kill and sends our very first player out of the tournament with a 3-0 Kikyo Chan. Just really, really clean play. What a way to bounce back. I know they're losing in the VR chat room now, baby. Kikyo yeah, they're <laughs> on display. It's a lot more cautious because it's not going to be easy to get, like, you know, get past that neutral game of Hitman. It's uh -huh. also important. There's a couple of things. Like, one, good fast lows are really nice to check the tackle, right? And he has a far, like, one to hit with 2B. It just goes basically almost full screen, which is really nice. The other thing is he has DP. And, yeah. you know, Ghostblade does not have that. Yeah. So when you see, like, the drops and stuff, most characters can just see Grappler going for it and then just DP it on reaction. But if you don't have one, then, I mean, there's nothing to do, you know? And what I'm most scared about for K-Top in this set is we saw his Stingers, his 6Ss get exposed a lot up against Nan Pawn, right? Yeah. Hubo with the charge kick, it's pretty much one of those things that's going to go over that move and punish you heavy. Oh. And instead, he's going to parry from long distance. It's like that. Yeah, really good option, especially if you're just going for stuff that's like uh, kind of lazy, where you're just like, I'm going to do 5S, 6S, you know, whatever kind of stuff you want to do, or even just space out 5M, like whatever it is. I mean, that's a really useful option, and it gets baited immediately from K-Top. Look at that adjustment, right? Wasted no time here, K-Top proving exactly why he's at the elite level. Yeah, 5A punish on the roll too. K-Top just ready for it. Double 4S Ender again. And you get that light, nice little dash between. You get some Oki and yeah, I mean it hits, you know, one or 18 times or something. So you're just like, okay, I guess it's going to be the and, difference between it. And we did see K-Top whiff that constantly. Oh. Wow, vacuum straight to the ground, bruh. Yeah, no DP that time on the first challenge. Yeah, and just lets it go. And the Awakening, but he gets opened up, and I mean, that's going to spell the end for K-Top as long as Kubo doesn't drop this combo. OTG him one time, oh, to the corner we go. Let me get that Awakening skill, baby. Yeah, I mean, as long as he has mana, he just keeps doing 5M tackle. five. Like, he just keeps looping it over and over and over and over, and it just makes it these really scary moments where suddenly you're just like, I I'm dead. Yeah. He's done this move 17 times in this combo. I'm dead. <laughs> and, uh, what was the moralizing about that round to me is that Kubo looked like he was really playing on play page one of the playbook oh my besides these parries yeah and i mean he got opened up a couple of times for it but still won the round it's uh, dangerous i mean grappler like every game where mm. grappler exists is <laughs> he's just a one chance character he just needs one opportunity hits you gets in there makes stuff happen and again every time it's oh. been 5s success as a hitman player it's a very flow charty thing to do you just do it without thinking about how good it is and then grappler oh tried to beat it right there in kubo just does nothing. Man, the first time he tries to make Kubo one step ahead. Look at him trying to get it. <laughs> oh, the hell. oh, he finally <laughs> did. And he's going to pay for his life with it. Help me. I just, I simply want to oh. play the video game. And I don't get to. And that oh. is so close to the kill. Not quite enough, but Kubo, big chilling. This is such a good spot to be. He has the plus frames. What are you going to do? I just want to remind you, at Frosty Faustings, remember, he fought Tenured Mule in the yes. finals, yeah. and we saw how he handled that match. So he's definitely coming in here prepared. Yeah, Tenured Mule, an incredibly strong oh. hit, <laughs> hit man, and oh. There's just a gap there, and then what are you going to do? There's nothing. You're going to cancel into success and get countered anyway. So True. just a 
really good opportunity for Kubo to get started. And again, Grappler, he's one of those characters where I think a lot of people didn't believe for a while, and now they're just like, oh, okay, this character is pretty, pretty scary. And again, oh. what do you, you know, what's the cancel option going to be? The autopilot needs to be turned off at this point, Kubo. Yeah, that's oh. true. And then even try to beta, and Kubo just doesn't go for it again. He sees the conversions there, and just like, okay, I don't need to go for it. Conversions, a thing, and then rollout doesn't get punished this time. The tackle. Oh, he waited big time right there, respecting the options. Kubo wasn't even awakening either, so he could have done something after the tackle, but not going to happen. Yeah, I love the punish into the side swap, too. Very good. It tries to bait it out there with a little fake out, and it's going to be a great confirm. Yes, indeed, as long as he cleans this one up, and I like that. Don't go for any more fancy extensions. You got the meter for it, but you also got the skill. Put him down. Yeah, that those extra extensions when you're... Uh, you know, in Awakening is really nice to have for Hitman too. It gives you extra little pickups and moments where you can extend combos. And there's a lot of like knowing exactly what you should do, how much mana you should spend or whatever. So interesting to think about. Plus frames there and Kubo doesn't challenge with, you know, a parry or anything that time. Oh yeah, and he just put out a light but it was perfectly timed. Kubo using the kick to get in. Now we're starting his game. Oh, oh my, by the back of the neck, picking him up like a cat. <laughs> feels so bad. I mean, you just sit there and you just block the jump in and you're dead. Two, two hits. Two touch. Two touch. That's how Kubo, that's how Grappler gets down, bruh. Yeah. You blink once and the round's over. He is a two touch fiend. And that's what this character does. And that's like the messed up part is, you know, you, oh, that tackle reached. I Ooh. bet you K-Top was like, oh, I'm out of range. I'll yeah. just go for a whiff punish here. And the tackle barely made it all the way in there. And then now look at all this life you just lost. Again, it could be another round. You just get hit one more time and it's over. Oh. oh, he tried the 2A challenge, and indeed, he gets hit one more time, and the round is over. Kubo of 2-0 like that. Man, you're just trying to play the video game, and you just don't get a chance. And that's the worst part, too, is like, if you make Grappler block anything or anything like that, and he gets some life and goes for a conversion, he actually just has, like, more mana to kill you with. Yeah. So, like, you know, him having... 100% life, he has 100 mana to work with, but he loses some life, he just has like 120, one th you know, it starts to increase, and that makes him able to kill you for more life, which is even better <laughs> for him. Yeah, it really just spirals into itself, right? Like, it's like, okay, even when you do some damage to Grappler, even when you put some uh, chip on him, like, that just makes him more and more dangerous, and we can see Kubo, I mean, he's exploiting every dangerous thing Grappler has. Yeah, because you want to do Hitman's good moves, you know, you want to yeah. do 6M, right, and just get in there, get some plus frames, and you're like, cool, I, I got some pressure off that, and then Kubo's like, cool, I'm just gonna do, you know, tackle or drop, and then go for confirm, and then, or, or conversion, and then I'm just chilling, I'm feeling great about everything. Like, right here, watch, I mean, he has, the ability to use conversion here, so. Wow, and uh, how cool Common Collected was that from Kubo. He just watched him jump over and then punishes the landing. Yeah. And he's plus. No DP from K-Top. Uh, and the guard gauge is looking brutal here, too. I was scared that that trade combo was going to come through. I know though K-Top is getting some uh, chances, but Kubo, you see even the dash blocks right now. He's so comfortable up against Hitman. Tackle. He's got confirmed to, or conversion, too. So, yeah, I mean, just goes for it there. And then now he's going to get the combo. Has all that mana to work with. And I love him delaying for the second tackle on the conversion, right? He knew that K-Top was going to respect that option the first time, and that's exactly why K-Top didn't press the button. We get him tossed, and now into the trash. Yeah, and what are you going to do? You're going to go for the DP, risk it all there? Yes. Or, you know, and even if you hit him with the DP, you're not killing him there. And so you're just like, okay, maybe I'll just wait one, and then it's already too late. Kubo just looking monstrous here. Oh. Converting, getting quick. As you mentioned, oh, no, he made it out the DP like that. Take it to the skies, hit him right on the top of the dome. It was just like a little too early, and now you can get two touch. Oh no, the punish on the DP oh. is gonna be humongous. And there's conversion, yep. So you get that extra extension. Whenever you block a mana move, which DPs are, you get that. And Kubo on the verge of moving on to the loser's bracket side of things. You gotta guess one more time. Give me the plus frames, what you gonna do about it. Oh, you're gonna try to DP out and parries the shatter strike. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> and Kazoff's reaction was like, Okay. <laughs> Let me just put this down. All right. Pretty good at the video game. I'll give it up. I mean, that was just expertly played there from Kubo. It could be different. Like, when you get one of those big Ws, it could either propel you into such momentum or, like you kind of mentioned, Sejam, that, like, since you got to that mountaintop and maybe the games got patched or something like that, you kind of get stubborn about it, right? Like, this is what brought me so much success before. You kind of get unwilling to change certain things. It's so easy to look up people's matches online now, and you can yeah. study them, too. Oh, no. And already, look at the amount of damage already done right here by Goichi and Swiftmaster but also trying to get some offense started. Immediate challenge, too. And it's going to be a side swap. Nice thing about the window orb, right? It just lets you dash through it at any point. So you can go to the other side, get the nice little juggle here. 
Nice. I love the way they bounce off the wall. This combo makes me laugh every time. Little fastball, <laughs> nothing. Oh, okay. Thought that orb was gonna slow down Lost Soul, but it did not. Let's see what the option is here. Mm. Oh, roll just to get out of there. I like the defensive option. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that too, because I think it's like a really good first check. You know, especially because most people roll through there and then you just hold the guard bar and you block it out. But Goichi, a different challenge and he was ready. What a whiff punish and the orb was there for the confirm, but doesn't get the whole thing. And you can notice he's playing a lot of stationary game here. Just staying right in front of Lost Soul and his Dragon Knight. And it's really making it so hard for him to get anything started. Started off pretty well, got the corner carry. Goichi calls it out, gets the roll out, as well as just checking with the Crouch A. Yeah, ooh, that confirmed. That is it's one of those things. Even though this character got a bit weaker patch over patch, you know, he still has that really solid mid range with 5B, especially, but that's going to be another side swap confirmed here for Goichi. And you saw that that empty cancel follow up that uh, Dragon Knight actually gets now. It really does open up her game a little bit, but it doesn't matter right now. Goichi sets up the orb. Oh my gosh, you got to stay on your toes. This dude, Goichi, once again. Mm -hmm. Lost the corner, but there's still Wind Orb here for a bit of an extension. And then back and steal all the, the way. Steal the side switch, bro. What? Yeah, pressure off. It just goes overhead again. And, you know, I hope you liked that combo the last time you saw it because you're about to see it again. The mm -hmm. confirm all the way. And the health just gets chunked like that orb out. A little side swap. Look at all the time in the world to dash through. Plenty of MP. Oh, man. The four magic skill just to close out. And just like that. Two rounds. Swift Master, Goichi. Yo, jeez. Yeah. Still a good character. Jeez. <laughs> still still a scary character. Still good? Yeah, scary character. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Especially, I mean, that's the thing, too, is that, you know, Swift Strike's still a really strong option. Obviously, you just uh, get a lot of extensions with it, and this move is really scary. At the end, you get that extra damage. Bam. I mean, that hurts so bad. Especially because, you know, the pressure after you're dealing with stuff yeah. is like, you know, you just got to sit there and deal. Okay, is it overhead low? Is it going to be just like delayed strike? Is it going to be throw? What is it going to be from uh, this kind of moment you get hit overhead? And you're like, oh, I guess I get killed in two hits here. Right. right. And, and on top of this, like, Goichi's doing this thing where he's like, I'm not even engaging unless I have this advantage. He's going to roll out before he tries to approach more than anything. So really put, taking the smart route. Okay, wait a minute. Got the jump castle. Didn't get the follow-up combo, though. Yeah, we see Goichi is like, you know, engaging on his own terms. Generally, the challenge, and yeah, that's going to be a side swap here. Back to the corner, easy peasy. Man, these side switch. These side switch combos, I feel like they do such a good job of making sure Goichi is just keeping the momentum. So even if you do get the combo out of the corner, he does a side switch back, puts you there, and then you got to guess again on the wake up. Got hit by the overhead again. Someone somewhere wasn't happy about it. Look, it's still the side switch. My man has not left this corner. What's the mix? Oh. He should have gone overhead again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The overhead was coming. <laughs> All right, it's the loop. He's going to get ready to carry to the corner right here. The dragon glove. Playing catch with my dragon dad. Hold on. A little staggered low pressure. And then, oh, the roll gets sniped there. There's a lot of life. They can get drained away, but the drop and then the pickup. No confirm from Goichi. Oh, tries to go for the throw. Nice stall right there. Goichi ready and waiting for it. We're still going to get the side switch, I think. And this dude, Goichi, does. Bonk. Just look at how far she flies to the wall and flies all the way back. OTG, one more at the end. Doesn't even need it. Goichi up a game and a round. Oh, my gosh. All right, Goichi. Once again, this is still best of five. Yeah, and you see that wind orb. It really lets you play neutral on your own terms. You just do it. It pulls the other character in, or you just do the belt like this and dash forward. But I like the little low check there from Lossal. And it also makes you second guess like what you're going to do on retaliation as well, because it definitely can push you out in some instances. And you can just use that ground to cover. But here we go. Once again, Goichi finds a hit. These wind tunnel combos, you're staying in this corner. That confirm was so good, too, because Goichi didn't have any mana at the beginning of the confirm, and he did a, a delayed jump B and then had the confirm afterwards once he built the mana, so really good awareness. Nice little backup roll right there. Sets up the wind belt. Tornado alley, I like to call it. You need to be careful. Oh, wow, checks the dragon. Didn't get the hit, but gets the follow-up hit. And once again, hold this combo and the corner. 
coming from Swiftmaster. Ooh, and that was a throw bait that was huge, but Goichi was already charging it, and yeah, just a little dash up, finds the hit. I mean, that's the thing about Swiftmaster is extremely fast and neutral, really hard to deal with, and he has excellent, like, dash pressure, right? He yeah. dash and take advantage of this 5A or 5B, as you saw there, and just get whatever he wants off of it. So two quick games there for Goichi. Really makes you second guess some of, like, your offensive options, no matter mm -hmm. what. And you saw, like, Lost Soul was like, look, I can't afford to you to be this close to me checking me. I'm going to do DP on Wake Up this time. Worked once time, and the last time just got body for it. Lost Soul is talking right now, dude. That's part of the mind <laughs> game, bro. Don't fall for the Lost Souls, the Lost Soul shenanigans. Bro, he talks to you while he's playing, bro. You know I'm not a fan of that, bro. We're enemies <laughs> until the set is done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little conversion whiff there. Goichi, he had blocked, so he had some uh, extra to spare, and that's going to be a whip punish and a great start to this round for him. Okay. Johnny Cash loops. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A little orb at the end, too, for pressure. Goes low, and then goes low again. And it's such a nice starter. The great thing about the orb out, too, is you get all that pressure after, and then it hits, and you're like, oh, I've wasted so much time. My orb is going to come back right. again. So I'm just chilling. Yeah, orb's out. Pulls you in, right? So you can see Lost Souls getting constantly dragged back towards it. Tries to start the offense. Almost cross up, but the conversion actually stops him. Yeah, and didn't believe. I, I think just assumed Goichi was going to block it. And that's the thing. When your defense is good, people just give you credit. You yeah. know? Oh, and then cash up. Gets the conversion. Instant overhead. And this should be a confirm and a kill for Goichi here to put him on set point over Lossal. And we talked about defense, but I remember in other games where my man was blocking for like a full minute. Yeah. A full minute of defense from Goichi. So I'm going to tell you right now, him playing an offensive character like this and really keeping you on the ropes the entire time really does make sense. Lossal definitely trying to get something straight. Started. Goichi rolls back into the corner, bad counter right there. Goichi takes full advantage of it, and these loops once again, though. Mm hmm, gonna pull you in, and look, he just gets to do all this. Look at this mana just coming back this whole time, by the way. Builds all the way back, sets out another oh. orb, and oh. then there's the DP. Lossal just doesn't want to deal with the pressure anymore. Tries to get better control of that neutral. I like that. Hits Astra on the way, too, just smacks the dragon. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is a lot of her game plan is calling the dragon, and then when you go to punish it, punishing you. But just from that far away, not able to really represent that much. That's scary to Goichi, and again, puts the belt out, rolls right in. Yeah, checking the dragon, like, in the neutral is so good. You saw him using that charge S a little bit just to control it, but still didn't work out for dragon. Like, oh, reset. Oh, no. Yeah, no mana left here, but it's going to build back right now, which is huge. Doesn't get the charge at the end there. Gets the dash up throw, and that's the kill he already knows. 3-0. Goichi's moving on Whew. into our winner's final. Yeah. That was a quick set, man. That was a really quick set. Um, but once again, this is this is what we expect from Goichi when it comes to characters like this. The pressure was super strong. <laughs> on top of that, he never really gave you a chance to breathe, right? Which is crazy considering that my man does nothing but throw. Right? People are so scared of Striker that they are just swinging in the air to do anything to try to catch this character before she comes in. And, you know, Ghostblade, it could be the same kind of thing, right? We see a lot of whiffs for those 5As and 2As and stuff like that trying to keep her out. But uh, he gets to initiate with the clone a yes. lot more. So, you know, it's not always as risky, but we'll have to see how this goes. I expect it to be a pretty frantic match. I, I feel like, look, as a ghost play, Blade c versus Striker, you get one chance. Yeah. <laughs> she knocks you down. It's like, uh-oh. Isn't that everyone versus Striker? That is true. <laughs> true. But yeah, when you don't have a reversal, it's even worse, bro. It's literally like, oh, I guess I'm just going to stay here until the next round begins. And we saw you on Cha do a good job of utilizing the teleports against forward That's advancing true. Moves, That's true. But Nanpong was doing such a good job playing patient, right? So I really want to see how that plays out. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think the key to being successful with fast-paced characters like Striker is actually knowing how to just, oh, that was a great answer right in the beginning, but just knowing how to slow down. Uh, I think that's the big thing that a lot of people struggle with when they play fast characters is just like, you know, they always commit, 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 but if you're the one who just makes them do stuff first, I mean, it's always better for you to just go for the whip punish and right, get in the there throw. on your own terms. This time after the pressure. And I'm going to tell you right now, one of the things you saw already, Nampon will attack while the Ghost is out there just to stop that pressure and now has an opening. Not a lot of MP left, but goes for the reset. We saw that cheeky little reset earlier. Didn't work out this time. Defense on the, on the side of Ghost played. Uh-oh, big hit. Not going to be the end of the round, but this is going to be a dangerous situation no matter what. Uh-huh. And the scary thing, too, is that a lot of, a lot of life gone already for Yu Song Chao because of the uh, conversions we saw and, and the hits. And gets the overhead. That's going to be tons of damage here, too, which is great. And Anpon didn't even have that opportunity to try to get out. Just got clipped by the overhead. And well, Yun Cha 
One more. Yeah, there, there we go. There, the MP, plenty enough to close out right there. It's just great, like, gauging of his combos, especially yeah. to get, like, follow-ups with Ghost Blade and just know when this Ghost is going to actually be able to get you a full follow-up. Checks the dash this time. Gets the conversion with the air summon this time around. And he's going to be able to get a hard spike if he plays it right. And the continued follow-up combo. I think he's going to use the rest of his MP, but here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's building back, too. So just at the end of the combo, already back to 70 or so before that throw. Goes Oof. low. We have another. Yep. yep. Goes pressure. low. And then looking for the roll or some escape option or DP. And that's what we see. Ooh. Perfect patience from Yu Song Charles there. Just saying, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to roll out? Are you going to try for a reversal? Are you going to try anything? I'll just, I'll just wait. I don't have to do anything. I have such a big lead. Love that offensive decision making. Yeah, and just closing out with that 2S, raw crumple, you get a full combo because of it. There it is again. This time cancels it to the dash. And I love the roll, too, just in case there's a DP, right? So just goes in for pressure and is like, hey, look, I'm right in front of you. Nothing to help me or back me up. Don't you want to go for a juicy reversal here and give me the round? Ooh. Ooh. We got to be careful. Sometimes they're too low to the ground, and the 2B into the spike will whiff, and they will cover early enough, as you can see, to get a punish. And Nampon's like, yo. How many Ghost Blade players have lost rounds to that missing on them? That combo dropping is yeah. like... Yeah. Every Ghost Blade player just cringes when they see it. They're like, no, not like this. Yeah, especially in the corner on top of it because you know they're getting something juicy. All right, here's the throw. Lots of gray life on the side of Nampon. Uses the counter to stop that offense. Conversion just to keep the pressure going. Guard cancel. Oh, nice dash through. Conversion gets the hit. Runs out of MP, so goes for a reset instead. And I actually love that about DNF Duel. The fact that, like, certain mix-ups only depend on how much MP they have. So that means you got to keep track of your opponent's MP as well. Oh, let the Ghost do all the work right there. That was so smart to just be like, okay, I see that she's doing something. I'm just going to block. And I'm hoping that it works out that I get saved. Did, and the damage on that is humongous, too. The mix-up here goes to the DP that time. Does take the risk and we saw that baited uh, just the other round but this time you saw not looking for it yeah actually clashes with the ghost means it's gonna stop that mix up nampon gets a chance to play Ooh. his game here scary that roll goes unpunished oh and just yeah guard counter out of there doesn't want to deal with it again i think looking for the dp there doesn't find it and there it is and it clashed with the ghost and then got the cancel off of it oh no oh no okay pressure doesn't have enough to even counter just yet so yeah had to roll out of the there. name of the game Conversion, spins the rest of the red, gonna get the, oh, oh no, rolls out just to keep the corner. And try to, I try to bait DP again there with a the roll, looking Lucy for something. Top. Gary here goes low, good defense and commits again. This says, yeah, I'll do it, why not? Wow, and I thought we were getting DP, but that was not even what it was, actually moves him forward, that forward advancing move this time, actually catches Ghost Blade, and we see it to start off the round, and straight to the corner you go. All right, gonna keep this combo going. And this is the, exactly the hard part to be in. You lose 50% life, you don't have any wake-up options. Oh. And if you guess wrong one time, look at the situation you're in. Nampon working on a perfect, you can't take another wrong guess. Oh, and block correctly there. It's a tough spot to be rolled out of the corner and then did have a second to hit a button, but delayed just enough for Nampon to find that hit, get the confirm all the way over to the other corner and get the kill. And this is the, like I said, as a Ghost Blade player, I'm like, oh, Striker, oh my gosh, you knocked me down. Get off of me, get off of me. And then the round's over. Like, that's how it works. Yeah, and I mean, that's the worst part is you rolled and you're like, oh, maybe I can hit a, and that little delay gives Nampon the chance to, you know, go for whatever pressure he wants to do, and no punish on the roll right there. Speaking of the roll, Axie gets through that offense from Ghost Blade. You see on Cha actually on defense in this corner once again. Oof. And just ending streams and just doing raw DP, actually working out, but now Ghost Blade out of there. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is the DP didn't hit all the way, so then even though it hit in the beginning, Ghost Blade still got to get a punish. Oh. oh, that was so good. Just delay on the neutral jump, and Nampon trying to go in there. would get the little anti-air. Oh, did. Didn't find it. Gets the kill. Didn't even have to get to the end of the combo. Okay, wait a minute. You see on Cha, wait a minute. Starting to get his wits about him in the matchup. And once again, this is what I was talking about. Nampon will actually challenge the summon, get the hit, stop your attack, and look at what happens. You literally lose 50% life. Mm-hmm. Tons of damage. And then you just get the knockdown, go for whatever pressure you want to do, too, right? So that time we saw the dive kick, and then Yu Sung Chao calls it out with a roll. Actually uses that ghost dash to get in. Uses conversion just to start and stop. Well, to stop and start that pressure oh. once again. Tries to roll out. Actually calls it out this time. Stay damn like you were saying before. Big damage on the side. Woo! You see on Cha in the ghost play. Gets the spike this time. MP starting to go back up. Gets the throw. Summon. 
Oh, that was dirty. Mm -hmm. And that's the game just like that. One good call out on the roll, right? You block all that stuff from Ghostblade. And the thing that's messed up is, you know, you're blocking moves that spend mana. If they spend mana, it chips down your life. So even though Nampon only got hit like once there, the mix up was humongous. Do you see how far that 2A goes? Mm -hmm. you feel mm -hmm. good about that? I feel really good about it, actually. Okay. You see how cool he looks when he's doing it? Gets the spike. Summit once again spends all his MP, but gonna be able to get the hard spike here. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, fake out. Wow. Oh. Didn't hit a button. Goes for the spike instead. Actually clips the attack. And we've seen we've seen Nampon do this to actually negate the ghost attack, stop the attack. And this time, Yusu and Cha taking advantage of it. Yeah, it's like, you know, you DP the ghost and then you get the cancel, but then he just punishes the cancel anyway. So you're like, well, I spent all that mana to do that. And still in the same spot, the perfect again. And you can really feel Nanpon, you know, he was right on defense a lot in the beginning, but now it's not really happening as much. And because of that, he's losing so much life. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh. Uh -huh. The DP cancel, it just missed. Oh, all the way to the corner. Gets the spike down, spins all the MP here. Man, that's a brutal way to start uh, the round. Uh, oh my gosh. Actually gets the full hit on the combo here. MP was just about gone, but here comes Nanpon. Oh. A little scary spot there, but it worked out okay. Yeah, the reverse beam pressure. Love that whiff, and then goes for the conversion to keep himself safe. And have to spend some bar. That guard gauge is in a pretty rough spot. Oh, tries to jump out of the corner. Nampon goes for the DP instead. Great rollout. Even better punish on the roll. Hold on, striker. Yeah, I'm gonna dump all this man in here to try to get a last little bit of life. And oh. it's enough. Drains that was it all. Hit. Yeah, last little bit of the DP, and there's no mana either at the end there, too. But the thing is, is that roll, you kind of had to do it because Ghostblade didn't have bar yeah. to guard cancel, and if she just ran the string, she was going to guard break. Huh? Oh, what a pickup and carry to the corner anyway. Reset, dive kick's going to be the pressure tool. What a check with the 2A. Hold on. Uh, Spike, let me get the summon. This is going to be pretty good damage, and you get the knockdown in the corner. If yeah. you do it right, there we go. Yeah, and was just waiting there. Oh, the DP barely hits, and yeah, it works out favorable that time for Nampon. Which will take the one-inch punch. Huge damage on this. Oh, you might be dead. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're dead. That is a humongous starter to get clipped by. And all the mana came all the way back for the cancel into the DP to send us to a last game between these two. Oh, my gosh. Yo, they are fighting. Yeah, they're slugging. I mean, that's the thing. These characters, you know, especially when they get their offense going, both are so messed up, right? So, I mean, you do not want to be on defense. And any scrambly weird scenario you can create where you can get out is so good for you. Oof. Big damage once again. You're in the corner and that MP starting the game back as well. What's the guess? Goes for the throw. Yeah, lets him build back some of that mana, which is really nice here. So we can go for this pressure. Tries to wait just in case there's a roll or a DP and then that time it comes. Definite clash right there. Conversion to stop the one inch punch recovery. Catches the roll to get out. And man, they are actually swinging. Another roll. Yeah, but this is a really bad spot. The guard gauge is in a brutal spot. Just about to build the guard cancel, but it was too late. It was right at the last second that 100 bar got built. And this is what happens to you for a DP for the kill. Nanpon now on set point. Man, this has been a set. I feel like it's going mad fast, but it's a whole set count right now. Yeah, and I mean, that is cool. Ooh, gets the hit. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. Yeah, great starter here, too. Spends all the gauge, and then you're going to build a little bit back right at the end of this combo. Uh, uh -huh. And we've seen him using some of the summons and baiting out the hit from Striker. Oh, there's another run-up throw. Yeah, we haven't seen him represent that that often. I like to jump back that time, maybe trying to call a DP. Oh, just like that, but then the whip, and then the conversion. Oh, rolls out this time, but puts himself in the corner. Sian Cha in trouble. Oh, man, he's going to get guard broken very soon here. No guard gauge, but then there was the whiff to create. Just like that, gets the hit. Should be the kill to send us to a final game, final round between these two. Oh, man. Yo, this set, though. Man, that was so close to being a guard break for a striker into maybe even a kill. Oh, I no. Oh. No punish. That is huge. That was so bad for Nanpon, and now he gets the opportunity. And he spent all his MP on that, all of it. So now he's got to fight the neutral back a little differently. Does get the corner. Going to have a shorter combo here, but still. Uh, uh, uh. Spike down. About 50% gone right there. Oh, and then the run up DP. That's the classic. You know that they're trying to get away. Early buttons right here to stop that run in. Oh, catches the dive. Going to get the pick up here as well. She is an awakening though. She's got so much bar to work with. Mm -hmm. 
<gasps> and the miss! Oh no, that is a huge one. But the drop. The combo. But yeah, the drop. The drop. He's roll, got a roll. Get yeah. through. No. Nampon has actually been paying attention to that, knows you can roll, and has been checking it consistently. This might be a done deal with the raw super, and that's gonna be that. Nampon takes it, takes out Yusion Chan. The hashtags, you could also let us know your feedback, what you're thinking of uh, the action and everything at home via the hashtag Arc System World Tour 2022. Let us know what you think of the, the intro videos, the action going down just in general, what you think about the show. But yeah, man, traditionally in this matchup, right, Dragon Knight being so airborne, I think it could help up against Grappler, but we've seen the charge kick, the flip kick, one of those hitting could mean death. Mm -hmm. And we've seen, look, my man Kubo is straight ignorant with the jump asses, bro. <laughs> my man does not care. Yeah. But loops to the corner. Here we go. Lost soul. Oh, flips out of that. It looks like Astra did not keep him up in the air long enough. And here we go. Jumping out of there. And a lot of times, if you don't know what side that thing's going to hit on, remember, you have a guard button in the game. Mm, to the corner we go. And that's tricky right there. You can cancel that uh, charge, that forward S, into the, the, the 5S in the air earlier now. So we saw Lost soul drop a combo earlier today because he did it too early. Fence looking real solid, oh, finds a hit in the corner. This is gonna be pretty big damage right here. Yeah, that was the delay right oh, there. And you're already in the corner. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ooh. empty jump, not gonna work out. Actually, I think he just missed the timing on the throw. I think he went for the throw, but yeah. I, I, it looked like Lost Soul actually crouched under it. So, oh, but you just got hit. And like I said, if you see that thing coming and you don't know which way to block, yeah. hold that G, hold that you, guard exactly. button, dude. Hold I the guard button. Sometimes when I'm getting crossed yeah. up, I'm like, yo, just hold guard. I'm like, no, no, I gotta <laughs> hit a direction. And then I get hit. Oh. Speaking of getting hit, the counter working out. Oh, caught her out of the mm. air. So here we go. Going to be some pretty beefy damage over here with that start. Not going to be able to get her all the way to the corner. So just keeping her mid-screen here, going for the mix-up. Oh, okay. So nice thing about Dragon Knight's DP going so high up into the sky. Going to set up a safe pressure here. Goes for the safe jump, but a beautiful roll forward from Kubo. Okay, rolls out of that jump. As I told you, that charge, so he does not care. I feel like he's jumping and holding his leg. He's like, all right, you're over there. Hit now, and it always <laughs> hits, bro. Does Kubo mean frog in Japanese? Because I swear this guy is just hopping all over the place, dude. This guy is never stopping with that charge jump S. Nah, he, it's like he knows that you're trying to play this neutral game, that you're a little bit more afraid. So going to this jump S is actually pretty good, especially uh -huh. if you're in the corner. You get huge damage payout. <laughs> Speaking of in the corner, Lost Soul taking you there with the loop. The dragon loops. Yeah, Lost Soul there doing the 4S with Dragonite on the cross. And he's like, how does that feel, Grappler? Right. How does that feel? <laughs> oh, nice escape mm -hmm. out of the corner. That doesn't have to deal with the armor. We've seen a couple of the other players reacting to, like, that charge with roll, right? And I would love to see what Kubo's going to do to actually, you know, kind of mitigate Ooh, that. Oh, there it is there. once yep. again. Hopping, hopping like a madman, Kubo. And here we go. Gets the big damage here. Look at that, 50% life, and just coming in for the pressure. Oh, goes for the Scourge. charge, 5S. Here we go, big damage. Can he kill off of this? I think no. he should. No, no, he's all right, he's all right. You think? No, no, he's not going to kill. You think? <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I like that Steve, like, whisper to not just Yeah, because I was paying attention now. to the life bar. I was like, it's still going down. Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, you see the jump cancel buff right there for Dragonite to be able to get that pressure. Okay, nice conversion, but oh, a little bit too wow. far away from the corner to get the uh, 5S to hit, uh, 5B to hit, I should say. Wow, gets the 2B, but still not going to get the follow-up. Jump S, combo damage, gets the corner on top of it, not going to get the follow-up, <gasps> but the jump throw going to work out. Uh-oh. This time he's dead. Yeah, yeah this time <laughs> you're dead. Kubo, quick two rounds right there versus Lawso, and I feel like it's just kind of like that snowball momentum. We talked about how grapplers work, and you're seeing it in action right now. Uh, anytime you get someone to second guess their game, it opens up other parts of your game, and you saw the charge jump S. That's exactly what I was talking about. The minute you try to play the neutral, Kubo's like, oh, you're gonna stand there? Ha, hold this, <laughs> you know? And we saw the charge, oh, we saw the charge command throw as well work out, which also plays into that mindset, like, hey, what do I do in some of these situations? Because Kubo's been doing a lot of great reads to get these command throws as well as just taking advantage. And it's just one of the scariest things to try to anti-air that charge jump S because you know if you're wrong, you just lose so much life. So as soon as you see him do it, you're just like, I'm just going to block. <laughs> and we've seen a couple of people actually jump up there and like interrupt it. But when you get the full charge, I feel like it becomes a lot 
lot harder, Jaxie. Stop it before it gets. No, Speaking you can't DP that. Charge, you can't DP this that armor. This is big damage, bro. No. This is big damage, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, here we go, the mix-up. I tried it again! Oh, no. Kubo back-to-back -back armor is going to put him at match point over Lost Soul. You can't just go swinging those DPs there. Obviously, you want to try to get rid of the hit-throw mix-up, but when the hit is an armored move that can just go through whatever, it is not a good idea Try to chase the back dash down. I like, I love what he's doing though. He's switching up that pressure in a lot of instances and then going for the charge tackle sometimes just because he knows you're gonna swing. He's seen the DP come out a couple times and look at the damage conversion he's getting for guessing right right here. And now, this is just fear. Oh, okay, okay all right. There we go. Has the anti-air. Stabs him with the uh, far S, the 5S. Tries to get a mix up with Astra. Good blocking, good mm -hmm. defense from Kubo. Oh, there's that armor again, and the conversion, and you know what? Caught Lasso touching, but that goes for the reset oh, as well. Pulling him forward out of the corner with that 6S, and then going for the dive bomb, catching Lasso by surprise. Kubo advances oh with a 3 Oh, Yo, guys, could y'all make some noise for Lasso, man? He's going to be going home. But the last USA representative here for DNF Duel, and you still get the win quote from Lost Soul, no matter what. Win or lose, you get you get this talking to. Dude, he's, he's like a TV dad. Look, dude, son. If he was in a fighting game, dude, every time he learns, we're expecting, but we already saw the Crusader from Kikyo. We talked about the pros in the matchup for that character, but obviously the comfortability factor has been on the Ranger, right? He's looked so clean on the character, so lethal. So I want to see him go with the tried and true, and that's what he does. All right, so start right away right there with the jump, and he just goes for the anti-air. So good start right here, catches him, mm. the crumple, grenade. Oh, no. Okay, okay. This, this is good, gets the drop. And see, now this is one of the differences we've seen in this matchup, people fighting Ghost Blade. They'll shoot the ghost, like you ain't that dead. They will make <laughs> sure the ghost is not a problem, and that really does stop some of Ghost Blade's offensive options. Actually went for an early conversion and got scooped out with the throw from Ranger. And like I said, this is why this is scary. Yeah, obviously the Ranger working out for him. So again, you know, Crusader is a strong character, but Ranger is just, uh, it's just, it's fitting him like a glove right now. This mm -hmm. is what Kikyo-chan wants to do. And he's still going to get another setup here, and this is going to change some of your wake-up options once again. Uh, tries to roll combo out. off the bomb, yep. And that's always the tough situation right there. That's a true mix-up once he gets that grenade. And yeah, he fakes it right there, but so Yu Seung Cha actually manages to live through that, but gets clipped again. He has not done any damage to Kikyo-chan so far. In two, in two rounds so far. Okay, there okay, it is. Okay. Finally got some chip damage. Oh, and then just lets it, just lets himself land. And here we go, Gunhawk. Actually, he falls out of it. It was a little too close. Ooh, counter this time. You're going right. to need to spend all of this. And he yeah. doesn't have any MP, so that means he's going to have to do it the right way until he gets something back. Gets rid of the ghost once again. And he's able to hit a button while he's recovering, so you're going to have to hold that. Gets out of the corner. Okay, pick up here. All right, this is the opportunity right here. Yu Xiong Cha has got to find a way. He doesn't have even any meter for conversion, so he's not going to even get any conversion mix-ups. Here we go, mix. Oh, yeah, there we go. But like I said, you can see these guys have spent so much time. The Japanese players have spent, obviously, a lot of time learning how to properly fuzzy guard against Ghost Blade. And that's if, if they even get there. If, if you try to do a, a, a actual summon on Ghost on setup against them, a lot of times, and this has happened to multiple players, they're going to check it. They're going to hit the Ghost, and then they're going to see what you're doing to kind of react to it. And it's really started kick your chance offense, and it's been so hard. It's been so hard for Ghost Blade to get out of there. Mm. Stops the dash yeah, because of the grenade. Right, exactly. And the grenade acting like a virtual combo breaker, essentially. Always have to respect it. But here comes, oh, if you can get the MP skill right there, look at all that white health just going away in that big old chunk of red bar over there. Great punish. Look at the damage for Ghost Blade. You son Cha, oh my god. And then he Running goes it for back the throw. and steals the round of the second game here, looking so dominant for yeah. Ranger and Kikyo Chan early on. And Kikyo Chan has been doing such a good job defending against that Ghost Blade mix up. I like Yu Seung Cha throwing in that throw and uh, trying to change it up a little bit, trying to get Kiko Chan maybe to think about another option over here. So here we go. Here's that pressure into the low, still blocked. Oh, he's still not going for the throw. In fact, still just tries to go up for the pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh, conversion dashes to get out of there. The air to air not gonna 
cash out on anything big on um, once again just to stop the pressure and then wake up roll to get away from the ranger pressure so here we go is he gonna go for the throw he does see this is important i feel like he needs to establish that but just the wake of 5m is just gonna clip and didn't get a combo off of the conversion but gets himself out of the corner and able to keep this pressure going roll oh. to try to get away from the corner kikyo chan was ready not in awakening so he should be okay yeah, but there's that grenade, so that's why he teleports to the other side to try to take the grenade out of the situation. But now, Kiku Chan, plenty of ability just to play this very defensive game. But here comes Yu Seung Cha. Can you defend? Finally catches him with the empty low. Oh, he should be dead. He is in awakening. He's got plenty of meter. Yeah, as long as he doesn't drop yeah. this. Oh, okay. It's like I said, that 2B right there. You guys talked about it last time. Yeah. It's, it's easy to miss that hit. Yeah. 2B into with a 4S is actually pretty difficult to hit 100% of the time. Yeah. Uh, just because of the height. And once again, if you drop it, yeah. you saw what happened. It's literally a game changer. Oh, I get a chance to hit you now? Aim early, because at least if you whiff on the way, like, you don't hit them at the top, you recover in time yeah. to keep the pressure going. Okay. okay. Gonna put himself in the corner. No. Nope. Stays out. Stays out. And here we go. Keep the pressure. I love that teleport out of there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Gonna get the crumple and use the roll. Just get the side switch back into the corner. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Gets the full combo this time. Right there at 50%. There's the pressure. And I love you sent Chuck going to these throws early yeah. on in the pressure instead of hitting these buttons because now he's going to have an opportunity to open them up a little later in this set. Yeah, and you see right there. Oh, and he found the whole gap right there to DP. But look at all that white life on Kikyo Chan's side. Not even going to matter anyway. He should be able to finish the job right Ooh, there. Ooh, takes the easy way out, goes for that dash. Would have got all those hits as well. And I, I believe he still could have had conversion, so he was good. All right, swinging right away as Yu Seung Cha. And Yu Seung Cha right now trying to go up 2 1 against Kikyo Chan. He's going to start off really well over here. Has Ranger into the Yo, corner. The air to air confirmed? Yu Seung Cha, though, hold on. And now, oh, yep, there it is again. The, the match has changed drastically as soon as he started putting the throws yeah. in there a lot more. Because, like I said, Kiko Chan's been doing such a good job blocking. But again, another throw. Even though there's not going to be as much damage as the combo, the mental damage, and even a just see right Ooh. there. You bait him into the DP because he's scared of the throw or the attack. And so it is all just adding up for Yu okay. Cha right okay. now. Okay, all right, all right, hold on. The Ghost Blade doing work right now. Great bait on the DP right there. Goes for the full crumple just to get the combo. What a closeout. And look at this. You see right now a little bit of uh, hesitation from Kikyo Chan to jump right back. Nope, actually, he does it. He mm, goes right back in. Speaking of, starts off with that DP early on. Big jump here for Ghost Blade, and you're already in the corner, and 50% life is what I claim. Oh I'll take half. Oh, I'll man. take half. Thank you. Yeah, and now here we go with this pressure in the corner here, trying to find his way out. Does get the hit and the crumple, too. That's important. He's going to get the side switch, and here we go. Sets up the grenade. Yeah, and that, that, that and yep, now. combo Max. into the bomb. Oh, 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 my gosh. And here we go. Repeat setup. Vortex time. Nice roll out of there from Yu Song Ta. And now here we go, the corner pressure here. Are we going to start adding the throws back into this mix? No, he's, yep, there it is, right there. Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is really what's actually changed this game around for Ghost Blade. And Yu Seung Cha, uh-oh, that's Dunzo. Yeah, right there. And Yu Seung Cha right now is at match point. What a turnaround, bro. Momentum-wise, the way these rounds were looking, it was looking like Kikyo Chen the whole way. But consistent with getting away from the grenades, whether it be the rollout in the corner or just not engaging, has always worked out. Kikyo Chan on the ropes, but right now he's in the lead. Yep. And oh, he called out the jump. He went air to air on his wake up. And still rolled around the grenade, just to be <laughs> sure. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, and rolls through the slide over there. Trying to find the pressure, gets the reach, mm. and he's going to be able to confirm off of that and get the corner as well. Yeah, jump summon, actually gets the combo, going to carry, and the hard spike knockdown. Okay, backs up a little bit, goes for the summon once again. He's Jam seen that Kikyo Chan has been challenging on Wake Up to get rid of the ghost, but still the pressure is working out. Tried to bait out a DP that time. Got him, but that's not going to be a full conversion. Is he going to go for the throw? No, but a good escape by Kikyo Chan. And actually, can he kill off of this? He might be able to extend the combo long enough to be able to get enough damage. Yeah, just no. Oh, oh no, too oh, much 
you're dead. Too much hits, too you're much. Dead. Too much hit stun scaling at that part. Kikyo Chan tried to push it so he could get the kill into the awakening. He pushed too hard, and instead, Yu Song Cha is going to be able to flip out of that, get the victory, and continue forward coming into this. I mean, again, all of them, Dark Horses, all of them the ability to win, but Nanpon was just one that I just kept seeing, and I was like, you know. Yeah. For good reason. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. It is Goichi, Ooh, and he's okay. going with the Crusader. OK, Let's OK. See. Let's see what the game plan is behind this. Just big normals, walls, and all that. Or is there going to be something a little bit more deeper to the pick? We shall see now. Of course, it's going to be winner's finals. Wow. And already, you take the disguise once, Nanpon ready. Oh, into the meaty plus frames as well. She could dash cancel that. Keep it going. All right, so Goichi, interesting, started very aggressive, just coming in and oh. jumping. But there we go. Yep, easy conversions into the walls. And I think what he's just hoping to do is to kill Striker before Striker kills him. Yeah. I mean, the hit started with the spear, right? That's definitely something that I think we need to keep an eye on. It has a great angle of attack. It brings Crusader back as Ooh. well. But right now, Nampon's going to get another opportunity here. Yeah, because that's going to be one of the hard things about Swiftmaster. One of the biggest weaknesses he has is that it takes like four touches to kill somebody sometimes, you know? And so going with the Crusader... On the opposite end of that spectrum. Yeah, you only need to get one or two hits. Like, there's oh. hit number two, essentially. Oh, my goodness. The Nova, the Holy Light, teaching you some lessons right now, punishing you for the sinful rushdown ways. <laughs> Goichi <laughs> in the building, bro. Blessing up. Dude, this match is delete or be deleted. Yeah. Oh, wow. The dash up of both players getting real into what? it. Back to back for Goichi. Okay, two times. Yeah. Waking <laughs> up like, with the lunch <laughs> punch. Stop it. He's like, I'm done with this. No more throws. No more throws. And here we go, tall character. So how many times are you going to block potentially dive kick overheads over here? No, goes for that. There it is right there. There was one overhead right there. But Goichi with the roll gets to the other side. And here we go, big damage. Oh, he immediately bet on it. My goodness, look at all these follow-ups, bro. Reset's in the combo. Yeah, Apocalypse is oh, there. You break, look at that. Look at that guard gauge right now. Oh. Oh, oh, the Apocalypse at the end actually put him in Awakening Ned Paul. Oh, oh, not going to get a chance to utilize it. The hammer of justice. Shout out to IFC Yikes. Yeah, he actually saw Goichi go into the go into rage mode essentially. Tried to get some offense, but then that standing B just intercepted Nanpon and took that game. Yeah, and now Nanpon not trying to go quietly into the night, not trying to get bullied. He needs to establish some of his own offense, some of his own suffocating pressure. Doesn't get the punish on the roll. That's real bad. Goichi gonna get his chance to oh, party. No, now. same thing oh. again. I'm trying to go in there. But look at this, he's gonna be able to cash out into the, oh, is it gonna get the, for the, the combo though? He, oh, he does oh, get it for yes. the combo. So much damage. Look at her life bar, bro. From 95% oh, awakening. On. Hang on, hang on. She is in awakening as well. It's gonna get the hit over here. Just needs one more hit. Well, actually, can she kill off of this? No, she's gonna be just. The awakening skill is here. Who is a lot of damage. this gonna kill? <laughs> is this gonna kill? Crusader, oh, oh, the Lord saves him, another day to fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice blocks on the wall, nice blocks on the wall, patience right here. Oh, no! you said patience, and that's finally when Nanpon broke. One wall too many, Goichi, another round on the board. Dude, Crusader definitely a fan of that Pink Floyd right there, dude. Throwing <laughs> yeah. out the wall everywhere, dude. Oh, man, we'll see if Nanpon gets sent to the dark side of the moon or not. <laughs> Oh, and here we go. Keep more pressure. Yeah, just use the guard cancel to get out of there. Oh, oh you got double overhead, bro. Yeah, oh. conversion overheads, dude, are so scary to deal with. And now Goichi. So Megan is makeshift corner, runs into the Nova Blast. Still, you got to worry about so nice. much. Nice okay. job. And actually got the side switch on that, too. That's huge for Nampon here with this corner pressure now. Tries to bait out a DP or something. Yeah, you can tell. Oh, oh my goodness. Cut might off be in dead. the pass. Might be dead. Oh, yeah. Puts up the Apocalypse. Oh, no. Excuse me. Just going into the charge. Now he puts up the Apocalypse. Setting up shot. Oh, nice oh, shot. Oh, fight. Now you got to no, oh. get away. He just presses the Awakening Doesn't skill for a quick cinematic <laughs> as well. Goichi. All right, brother. All right. <laughs> oh, he tried. You saw how many forward moving specials 
kills that Nanpon tried to use. He's like, yeah. I got to get out from under this disco ball. And it just did not happen. Still got clipped. Goichi. Oh, that was a great way to call out the spear, though. Nanpon showing some adjustments on his side. Again, let's fight back here. Offense plus frames, you know this. But man, Goichi's picking out his rolls really well, except for that one. Nanpon at least ready for the roll. Oh, oh. Okay, gets out of there with the guard cancel, and here we go. Gets it. That is the third time we've seen that. And so he's just kind of raw gone into the rage mode right there. And then Nampon is just trying to run in to get the pressure, perhaps, to take advantage of the recovery. Oh my god. Destroying what this fight? Just what? putting the Nova Blast out there. He's ah! Oh, the armor coming through with the clutch. Koichi. <laughs> Monstrous performance here in Winners Finals. Oh man, and you are seeing a great display here of why Stryker isn't quite at that same <laughs> level that a lot of people consider Crusader oh, at. Man, Pony just can't find any answers right now, bro. Goichi, and every time he feels like he does, Goichi changes the question. Oh, the delay oh, it's, it's for the frame trap. Oh. Goichi again, making him feel the light. Oh, to the corner man. we go. You working for me? Bates out the DP. Just a desperation attempt. Nampon was trying to stop the overwhelming offense by any means necessary. <laughs> but see, repent, son. You see Goichi pumping his fist. Like, if you just lost that, you're like, yo, come on. <laughs> you're like, bro, why are you acting like you were stressed, son? Come on. Close game, GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Close game, close game. Close game. Close game. Close game. with the eyes closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, and Kubo here, both of them trying to get into this top three now. Yeah, man, two dangerous, dangerous players, right? We talked about Yu Siong being one of the favorites coming into this, and Kubo being on the forefront of that grappler meta, right? Him as well as the Vids really just leading the way on the character. And you can see how lethal it is. I mean, this is anybody's game here. Two dangerous oh, characters. What? And what a way to start it off. He waits. You see the dash block into what is he going to do? Oh. Immediate air to air. Now we're establishing the command throw. It's already scary. Yeah, this is what Kubo does to you. And it's, it's so much about the uh. intimidation. Oh, I'm going to get you scared to hit buttons, and you so I'm just gonna dive onto your head. A little too high up, though, for that jump. Oh, again, yeah, the timing has been so good, and then he tosses No, him. I'm done, Ridge, no, I'm, 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 I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, What? I'm out. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Anyone, anyway, you guys wanna take over, because I'm. <laughs> my man Steve almost collapsed. Bro, I, I almost faded, out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> Kubo is just going no mercy style right now. Look, look at this. Oh, he tried to grab him, bro, by the long, luscious locks. Yeah, but look at this. Yu Xiong Cha learning a little bit from the last game. Bruh, just wake you, up and do it. Just do it. Your ghost, I'm just bypassing that. I'm bypassing everything. We get a real intimate CQC style. Screw your range. Screw whatever you want to establish. This is Kubo's grappler you're dealing with my now. Man, my man said, I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I don't believe it's in that at all. That. Who are you going to call? <laughs> Dude, he's just coming out here busting ghosts all day. Oh, this is definitely bonkers. Oh, and again, yeah. oh, the axe kick from the top rope, bro. That move is so, because it just hits so far down. It whip punishes so many things. It's almost like a fireball, you know? You just jump and you see the miss and that's it. And he immediately gets out of the horizontal range in front of him, right? Oh, that was a great okay, job okay, 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 okay. into a punish. Go. All right, here we go. Yu Xiong Cha taking a little bit to measure which corner he wants to push to over here. Gets the knockdown. Here we go. This is that ghost pressure. But remember, we saw Kubo blocking this yeah. really, really well earlier in the tournament. Because uh, I believe this is the run back, yes, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. And Kubo, you see, he didn't really threaten with Perry much in their first set, already establishing it here. Oh, the tackle. Nice job chasing it down here. Yu Xiong Cha. Big punish. You just got to complete this combo now. Yeah, just go for the easy route uh, here. Oh, no! There's that 2B. There's that 2B that has a chance to miss. Did you really just raw grab him? Did you just... Oh. The awakening skill. Once he got to awakening, I was like, bro, you better be ready for the tackles, the nonsense. Nah, 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 nah. We're just going straight for the skill. Yeah, and Kubo's like, yeah, you really should be ready for the tackles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for being ready for yeah. that. I'll take advantage of your blockers. <laughs> Oh, so Kubo on the board here. Oh, that One was round clean. as well, but here comes Yu Xiong Cha. Here we go. Corner pressure. And doesn't miss the. Oh, oh he, he did he, miss he the very too low. Strike. He got it hit it too low that time. And so, oh, he tried to go with the rising button. We saw that in their first set, right? Kubo charging up the counter at beautiful adjustment. 
<laughs> so much. Oh, there it is. I love the air to air right there for Yu Song Chao. And he's going to get the side switch over here. Pressure to the corner here. Do not oh. drop this. Oh. Okay, there we go. Got it this time. Yu Siang, oh, tries to figure out the high. Great blocks from Kubo consistently. But again, you know, the same thing. Oh, oh that you, can't, oh, you, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. It's just got armor for days. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sent us all the way to the sharing moment. That's not one you're going to want to share, fam. My man <laughs> tried to quit the game, bro. <laughs> He's like, I mean, you know look, what, I'm over if this, I'm, bro. If I'm losing right. like that, I'm quitting the game, too. You know, seriously. I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done. Grappler makes eye contact when he hits you. He's like, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now. And so here we go. Kubo taking the lessons that he learned earlier. Oh, man. And yeah, really uh, applying them so effectively here. Kubo, oh, he tried to get him, but he was ready for the roll even oh, afterwards. Okay. Nice job. Yu Siang usually active in that moment, right? He stayed patient that time, called out Kubo's move. Okay. Here we go. What's the mix? I, mean, I feel like... Oh, the parry, the counter mind, coming in, rearing mind. his head, stays on the safe side. Nice delay on the air to air that time. I want to see the throws. Like we saw when he was playing against Kikyo Chan, he was going to the throws. Kubo obviously is blocking everything like he did last time. We talked about how good the defense True. is. Oh, it looked like he was even trying to lay it there. Does get a throw as okay, he there we go. James. There we go. Because remember, Kubo was defending a bunch, but he was just pressured the entire time. I don't know what's changed here and made Kubo all of a sudden just like, you know what? Oh, I'm not scared at all. Did. The call out on the jump back now? You keep trying to do these rising buns. Kubo really adjusted his own game plan now, punishing those call outs on the verge of set point, or excuse me, on set point. Because last time, Yu Song Cha did not need to go for the throws. The pressure was just working, and Kubo would crumble eventually. But I don't know what is happening right now. Kubo is just feeling it right now. Yeah, bro, the sweet shit music's coming into play every time he tries to do that rising button, just getting stuffed. As he, look at that, the wake up, it's gonna <laughs> run, it's gonna tackle. Thanks for the trade, big dog. Yeah, bro, the uh, life, the blood, it is adding up here. Will Yu Xiang Cha even get another chance to play one more just to get tossed into the dirt? Kubo taking it 3-0. What a turnaround. I, I think it was 3-1 in favor of Yu Xiang Cha on the other side. Yeah, he, he ran into Kubo, who ran into him. Wake up, run, run yeah. into tackle. Bro, he woke up, run into tackle, Dude, bro. Yeah. Like, ah. You know, I aggression. understand because I, he wants to be near him. Yeah, exactly. But he's like, <laughs> I will sense. go be he near just, him. He just, like, just want to give you hugs, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. And all it takes is just two strings right there to, from Grappler to kill you. So be careful of Kubo and the two strings, then. I'm just saying, I don't trust this grappler. Look how long his karate gi belt is, bro. That's, <laughs> that lets you know my man is well versed. <laughs> oh, ooh, air to air, hold on. Yeah, that was a really, really clean air to air there. And this is top three, loser side here, loser's finals. Again, you know, we talked a lot about the pressure of this character striker. This is not a character uh, who wants to be on defense, right? Grappler really just, he does not want to be there, and this character can really smother him if she makes it in. But you see Nanpon running away the tackle. It recovered in time on the dive kick, so it didn't get punished in the roll. Oh. DP punish. Great conversion right there to keep it safe. And here's the challenge once again from Nanpon. And look at the life lead he had there. He's talking about challenging. I felt like he had an answer for everything in that first round right there. Yeah, and I mean that that instant overhead with the conversion, you're just like, help. You already already have this dive kick that you can go for overheads off of, and then I got to deal with that oh. wild up back of the foot, the heel. <laughs> the jump S gets the charge, full combo here, going to get the side switch on top of it. And we've seen, like, the mix-up. Oh, nice. We've seen him go for multiple mix-ups, whether it be the jump in, whether it be the command throw. Not going to get a combo here. Charge to S right there. Oh, almost caught you peeking. Oh my god, look at her life. She's just lost so much. And oh, that was going to be it right there if you flinched. So big chance here. Kubo with the roll calls it out with the conversion to get the punish. I love how ready Nampon is right now. And he has Awakening. So this is actually pretty dangerous for the next series. Whip dive kick low. Kubo with the blocks. One more hit though, and also guard gauge can be a little scary here. Two out of the way, the tackle and the conversion keeps it safe. I like that backing up even more because we've seen the reactions to get the punish. What a reaction right there to get the uppercut into the super. Oh my gosh, Napon paying attention has an answer, it seems like, for every offensive callout that we're seeing here from Grapple. 
Yeah, and I mean, we talked about that earlier, right? If he's just gonna, like, dash up and just try to do charge 5M on you or something like that, if your character has a DP, especially one that just hits straight up like that, right? You have a really good option to just call it out on reaction, but what happens is you see the red, yeah. and you're like, oh, okay, let me DP, and then it's tackle. And you're like, oh god, uh, I'm gonna explode. <laughs> and now I'm gonna lose half my life at least. Yeah. Alright, in the corner. This is the pressure that Nampon likes to have. And the positioning as well. I'm looking for a roll eventually. There it is. Oh, it just backs way off. That's what I like about Nanpon is when he's not in control in neutral, look at how he just runs. He, yeah. he's, he's like, okay, I'm going to get all the way out, run all the way back, and only initiate when it's in a good spot for me to do so. Neutral jumping right there and just waiting with the S. Just neutral jump S is definitely working. Yeah. I don't say it's working, but hasn't found anything big yet. Here comes the pressure. And she's so fast, too. I mean, it allows her to kind of play this hit and run style, right, where she doesn't have to commit. You can wait for Kubo to throw something out, or you can just dash in yourself with 2A, 2B, whatever you want to start and get some kind of pressure off it. So spends all the mana here for this uh, damage. Runs back in for the throw. Not enough to kill, but position was still good. Beat the jump on the uh, okay. start up there, so. Yo, Nanpon, hold on. Really kind of taking the wind out of Kubo's sails right now. Yeah, exactly. I love the way he's playing the match. Just, you know, if he's not in control, back way off, and then reinitiate when he wants to, just like that. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm not going to take any weird risks here. If I'm not in control, I'll just get out of there. All right, gets the pick up. And this is good. This is selling well for Nampon's momentum. Goes for a small reset right there. And once again, you see Kubo really, really going to this role in a lot of situations. But we've also seen Nampon actually use conversion, as well as just to chase a lot of those roles. Oh. Oh, roll dive kick just hits Kubo, and it really kind of feels like he's getting overwhelmed, not just on offense, but even defensively, Nanpon is really switching things up. A lot of options. So he's calling out a lot of these options, and look at this relentless offense. We're used to it if you've seen Striker before, but man. Oh, tries to go for the whip punish, conversion, jump S, and look at that. All right, Kubo still has a chance. Not an awakening, but this is still a good chunk of damage, as well as... Oh my god, look at how much damage he actually got off of that conversion right there. Mm hmm that was a ton. Oh, it oh, runs right. all the way up. That's the thing, she, you know, she's been controlling neutral so much that she gets to do that. She gets to run all the way up there and just do it for the kill. Easy peasy, Nanpon going up 2-0 over Kubo. Now, I'm, I'm glad that you pointed that out. And we've seen, like, multiple uses of it, right? DP, conversion, overhead, just DP, conversion. And you have to respect it in a lot of instances. But had so much pressure for most of that round that, like you said, was able to run up and just do it raw and then conversion and still get the hit. Oh, and the overhead off the dive kick. Sometimes you're just not sure. You're like, maybe she won't have that. And then she just hits you with it. Get clipped. And again, this pace is just so Nanpon. Goes for that meaty slide again, keeping it safe with the 2B. And then, ooh, scary spot to be, but Kubo not making much off of this. Forgets about the guard button for just a second there. Uh-oh. Fast switch. Jump. Oh, wow, and just rolls out of there. I love it. Look, just Nanpon runs away and then just says, okay, you're gonna whiff that, no problem. I'll run in and go for pressure after. Look, man, you call it out so good. Just backs up a little bit and like, you know what, do I have a chance? Ooh, almost guard broken too. Kubo's gotta be very careful about that and then the whip punish instead. You know, he felt forced to do something. He's like, I, I, my guard gauge is low. I can't just sit here and do nothing and I, I'm gonna have to guard cancel soon if I'm not careful anyway, so. I love Nampon actually just using the reset situation in the corner just to keep the pressure going on top of it. Oh. Gets out of the range of the tackles, finds a low, and Nanpon is on set point already. Oh my god. It's like you can do no wrong. Just like everything's working. You know, every time he chooses to initiate, the spacing was so perfect. Every spot on the screen is just like, yeah, I'm comfortable here. I know exactly what to do. And right now, once again, this what there's the reset into slide again just to make you hold it. Oh wow, and he's done a great job. Kuo has done a great job of chasing back dashes with that. And there's the interim. Okay, we haven't seen that very much so far from Kubo. Just, you know, using his own 2A to just check when she runs in, and now she can start to run up for dive kicking and look to beat that with neutral jumps or whatever he wants to do. So, something new we see Kubo representing. Okay, guard cancel this time, trying to take this turn back. Nampon comes with the pressure. Oh, conversion and gets the jump S anyway. Oh my gosh, Kubo. Kubo not out of this yet. Kubo not out of this yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, found Nanpon uh, flinching that one time. He's kind of representing some new options and neutral trying to change things up here, but we'll see if Nanpon can make that immediate counter adjustment or not. Pressure to the corner. It instantly oh. does the charge tackle conversion and now has that corner side though. That is a big drop though. That was that was lots of opportunity there for Kuba that he really needed. He's got to make sure this game counts and almost gets the whip punish, not quite. 
We were getting Ooh, away with stuff big, now. That's big damage. That is big damage. Full charge gets it in the corner. That red charge shoulder tackle gives you wall bounce. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, not gonna hurt too bad, but the positioning is really good here for Nanpon. Little fake out with the dive kick there for the pressure. I like that back up to the middle of the screen. We've seen the rolls. We've seen the dive kicks as well. You see him mixing up the approach dash 2A one time, and then that time runs up, calls out the neutral jump. Catches that jump S, reset once again, calls out the roll with a throw. This is looking good for Nampon. Back in control again, <gasps> but still at the life deficit. This shouldn't be it, but still. That was so scary. The armor came out there, and you saw it just gets beaten by the low. Scary spot to be, just playing it patient. Double armor, and then the low again. Nanpon, 3-0 for this second chance against Goichi in Grand Finals. Nanpon picking up some crazy steam in those later games. Great callouts. No! Striker versus, I, and you know what? I was going to say this when we were talking about this last time. I felt like we were going to see the Crusader this set going up against Striker, just because I feel like it's going to be a little easier to make her respect that neutral game a little bit. You got these big, long buttons on top of that, and you can make her respect the projectile a little bit better, too. So I'm interested to see how this is going to turn out for Goichi. I definitely was expecting the Crusader versus the Striker in this match. Yeah, I mean, the first set was so convincing. Like, it's like, why not, right? Yeah. I mean, a Crusader, he's tanky, first of all, even though he's big. He's super tanky. He can survive a lot of hits. And his normals and projectiles take up so much of the screen, right? Even though she can, like, duck under yeah. fireball and stuff, doesn't really matter when you have the spear and your 5A and all, and your 5S and all these other really strong buttons to keep him in check. So here we are, grand finals of the NF Duel. Yo. Whoa, wait a minute. Caught the jump? Wait a minute. Nampon was like, you know what? This is a snowball going downhill. I'm taking all the momentum, bro. Uh. Yeah, one thing we saw a lot in the first set is Goichi really good about rolling out of the pressure there. Justice with the projectile on the way down, and this is going to be a lot of damage. Rolled out of the dive kick a lot, though, in the first set to Goichi. So something that Nampon has to, you know, keep an eye out for. And we've, all, we've also saw, like, the, the conversion start to come in, right? Where he would just use conversion, get the whip punish when you were trying to punish that. Actually, oh, wow, reset with the dive kick in the corner. Great guard cancel. Mm -hmm. Activates the armor and then immediately goes for it. This is going to be easy peasy confirmed there. Goichi cuts it nice and short and just judges you. <laughs> and judges you. Drops it on him. Oh, this holy light. Oh. What did I do? You earned this. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as dominant as ever. That, you know, it started out really strong for Nanpon, but again, Crusader's got so much life, right? And he's just such a tank. He's able to take all that damage. And just Goichi's defense is excellent. It's really hard yeah. to hit him outside of those whip punish moments and neutral and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like you're forcing him to play, like, even harder at this point, right? Like, outside of the matchup, just knowing how to defend really does open you up in this matchup to, like, have a lot more chances to, like, take advantage of a character like Striker. We've seen what Nanpon can do versus multiple opponents, regardless of who they are, so... And you see these retreating jump backs. Lots of really good jump buttons for this character, too. He's got a lot of good stuff like that. So, again, we see the jump and get anti-air. That's like three or four anti-airs already from Nanpon, and a lot of them in this round. And Goichi, again, look at his life. He's got plenty of life to hold on to another hit here. Goes to another reset, and still, with the big life lead right now, this is looking good for Nanpon. Oh, yeah. But a lot of men on the side of Goichi. Breaks the throw, gets the oh, counter hit. Oh, no. Lot, yeah, you said there's a lot of men on the side of Goichi. Oh, boy. Oh, no. The wall? Oh, oh in the roll. This is a huge punish. Ball? Oh, no. You're dancing all right. It was, it was Nanpon's round to lose, and just like that, he loses it. <laughs> oh, no. What just happened? Everything was OK. Everything was fine. This is what happens when you pray doing the throw. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness, the damage. Goichi looked like there were some problems, and just like that, he's up a game. We talked about how scary it is to fight somebody like Goichi in situations like this, having the character switch, have, being prepared. Of course, you've been watching Striker these last couple games at this point, so you know you got a pretty good strategy to deal with it. Yeah, and the other thing, too, is, like, you know, that roll there from Goichi was such a great call-out because you know she wants to go for the DP, and then she has to cancel and all kinds of stuff. So rolling like that, hard call-out, really good option. Runs in for the break, and, yeah, just a little punish on the other side. She had time to whip dive kick and then still anti-air Goichi on his uh, miss jump. And punk. Makes you hold roll. the one-inch punch, but rolls out of there. Goichi gets the confirm, and this is already not a good sign. 
for what Nampon has left in that life bar. I can tell you right now. Oh, oh baits the DP, eats the disco ball, and just dances. He's looking, throwing a snap up. Forgive me, Father, for I have DP'd. Right? <laughs> <laughs> The gospel disco ball just drops it on you. Right. Oh, I love that run up throw too. Just taking up all the space on the screen. Late cancel on the wall, trying to catch you flinch on that 5AA. And instantly went to the 2A to stop the check to run out of the corner. Gets the big pickup, sets up the wall. The life bar is looking a little yellow over there. Yeah, she's dead in one more hit too, which is brutal here. Nanpon just got tagged a couple of times in neutral. Now Guichi gets to play it slow. Okay. It's a little gray life fine. Oh, that's hit. a huge starter. <gasps> oh. Okay. Guard cancel this time around. Tried to dash up. Oh, I don't even know what hit, but it doesn't stop Goichi from hitting another button. That's game number two for Goichi and Crusaders. And then one just keeps trying to challenge the armor. He's just like, I'm going in. I could do it. Right? And then he no, just no, it's gotta work this time. Yeah. That spear again, and Goichi, just all kinds of pressure off it. I love the way he's using it off neutral jump, too, to kind of keep Nanpon honest. At the perfect range. 5AA late that time, gets the counter hit confirmed. Cancels into the wall. Oh, no. Yeah, that's so much damage to eat. And then there's pressure afterwards, just a little 2B action, nothing too wild. Okay, DP works out. We've seen a lot of great DPs from Nampon this entire day. Whether it be like cross-up when you're trying to jump over him, or just to challenge some of your jump-in options. Gives him oh. an opportunity here way too early on the guard cancel, and that's going to spell the end of the round in tournament point. Championship point right now from Goichi. He's just speed running. I mean, this is just the winner's finals all over again. Goichi in complete control. Oh, no. Nah. He did the same thing last time. And this time instantly goes to a button. Ooh, no confirm off the spear. He could have got more. Could have got the wall and all kinds of pressure after. So could have been worse for Nanpon, even though he's down so much already. And then neutral jump back. She does this. And she lost so much life already. Look at all the mana Goichi has to spend here. And look at the damage. And look at the life bar. This tournament may be over. And your champion of DNF Duel, Arc World Tour 2022, is none other than the anime god himself, Goichi. Incredible performance. And he could not be stopped. Like, it was just not even an opportunity to slow him down. The huge pop-off at the end. You know he's feeling good about that walking away. $50,000. That's a nice pretty penny right there. Goichi, no stranger to this situation, but also the adjustments made. The thing he did to actually stop Nampon from getting his game started, which we've saw work against everybody else, not going to stop Goichi in this instance. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Congratulations, Goichi. Let me hear it for Goichi, your champion!